I've been streaming for so long at this point, I think it's fair to recycle some content. I streamed Banjo-Tooie in its entirety back almost three entire years ago now. Lokibo, thank you for the sub too. I think it was February of 2016, and now it's January of 2019, so it's been almost exactly three years since I've streamed this. Uh, the old stream's still archived, but I will differentiate them on YouTube because I'll just, I'll, like, write 2016 stream on the old one. Raph and Emerald, thank you for the subs. But yeah, let's, uh, let's get back to, let's, let's do Banjo-Tooie. Uh, I am not going to do this all in one sitting, at least not this time. Let's save that for this game's 20th anniversary. Human Hybrids, thank you too. Uh, we are doing the Xbox 360 version of the game, which is a part of the Rare Replay collection. Look at Mumbo up there. <laughs> Yaki, thank you for the sub. I missed you guys too. Um, but yeah, this will be a, like a fucking, ah, oh, that's loud. This will probably end up being like a 10 part stream. Banjo-Tooie is massive. This is a really big game. Leo, thank you for the sub too. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you'd asked me as a kid, which was better, Banjo-Kazooie or Banjo-Tooie, I would say Tooie without question, and I wouldn't understand anyone who said otherwise. Liddell, thank you for the sub. Banjo-Tooie has so much more content in it. It's got, like, everything that Banjo-Kazooie had dialed up to a million. Uh, it's kind of ridiculous and intimidating. Hold on, let me adjust the volume a bit. Uh... Uh, I think right there might be good. Let me know. Let me know if, uh, if it's too much. But that's, I mean, too much is just the word, though. At times, Banjo-Tooie can be... I'm gonna play offline. Banjo-Tooie can be a little much. Happy, thank you for the sub. Um, and I think that I thought that up until three years ago when I streamed the... Look, there's an N64 on the Xbox! And a copy of Nuts and Bolts. <laughs> Two copies of Nuts and Bolts, unless it's a really thick copy of the game. Game's a little too loud. Let me turn it down a bit. Uh, yeah, the volume level's gonna be a bit confusing at the start, just because it's a little different from other... Like, the volume level's all over the place with Rare Replay. Um... Yeah, it's weird that they didn't change the N64, but yeah, um, this game... Man, this game and the original means so much to me, even though as I've gotten older, I think that I've... I've realized that this game might have gone a, a bit too far in a few places, but man, they're still both so close to my heart. They're so near and dear to my heart, and I'm excited to revisit it. Also, look, we got stop and swap data. Cause this is the same copy of Rare, this is the same Xbox I've 100%ed both Banjo-Kazooie and Nuts and Bolts on. So I don't know exactly what that is. I think it's all stuff in Heggy's hut. Let's do it. Stop and swap real. As a kid, my save file was the Mumbo one, because Mumbo was my favorite. Stop and slop. I don't like that. But yeah, this game has, like, a million more moves, a bunch of transformations. It's got way more story. Like, it's got cutscenes and everything. Uh, the worlds are more creative, I would say. The characters are more interesting. The music might even be better. Remember the, the narration that went over the beginning of Nuts and Bolts? I kind of liked that. There is actually a game between this one and the original in the canon timeline where Grunty comes out of the rock as a spirit and enters a robot body, which I still need to stream. I need to stream Grunty's Revenge eventually. Is this game before or after Banjo and Kazooie got married? Oh, this is way before. But yeah, this intro is pretty long. I remember, like, everything about this game felt so magical to me as a kid, though. Because this was such, like... it's It was such a massive upgrade over the original. While the original game, even, like, I did the whole original game in one sitting a couple months ago, and I managed to get through it in, what, under eight hours without even knowing what I was doing? Kazooie, you little bird! But this game is, like, huge. It's still magical to me now. Yeah, it is. This game means a lot to me. But I am going to get frustrated with it. 
Atlantis is annoying to traverse. Grunty Industries sucks. I really dislike Grunty Industries. I remember watching these cutscenes over. Yeah. Same. I used to watch these cutscenes over and over, and I specifically remember bringing. I had, like, the official strategy guide for this game. And I remember bringing it with me, like, everywhere just to read it. I just loved. I loved this game. I loved seeing. Like, I just liked reading articles about the game. Not articles, guides. It was fun. Like when my brother was in karate class and I had to go with him because we were little kids and you have to go everywhere together. I would like read my Banjo-Tooie strategy guide because I just wanted to like imagine I was playing the game. Atlantis isn't as bad as you remember. Okay, well hopefully you're right. I will be doing 100% because like I said when I did Kazooie, it just doesn't, doesn't feel right not to 100% these games. It just doesn't feel right leaving stuff behind. Are you ready for Jolly's Juice? We're not going to see Jolly's Juice for a while. We're, gonna, we're not going to see anything for a while. It's not going to be like any real gameplay for... Like, how long is this cutscene? Like five minutes? <laughs> it's really long. Yeah, this will be like a 40-hour stream or something. Do you think we'll have a Nintendo Direct this month? Yeah, probably. But, I mean, like I said, we're going to talk about, like, holidays and news and everything after this. Just because it's hard to have a conversation. <laughs> God, these characters. Waddle V, thank you very much for the sub. This game didn't have, like, as many gameplay improvements as the Kazooie... Uh, 360 version did. Bunny, thank you for the gift sub. Because with the Kazooie, uh, with the 360 version of Kazooie, you had the whole note change, but this one doesn't have anything quite like that. I mean, the first person controls are way better. Maybe it'll be different this time. Maybe Bottles were Slavot. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he will this time. Devil Bottles mode isn't in this version, and they really should have implemented it. I mean, visually, this game looks so much more impressive than the first one, too. It's kind of hard to believe that this is an N64 game at times. Didn't Bottles kill his wife? Wasn't that hinted at in... <laughs> didn't he say he, like, ran her over in nuts and bolts or something? God, we have a... It was, it's been a while since we've done nuts and bolts, huh? What was Devil's... Oh, yeah, you can look up Devil Bottles. There's, like, footage of it running. It was a scrapped sort of co-op mode where one player would take control of devil, like, bottles, but as a devil spirit, and he would possess enemies, and you could control them. You need a game shark. Yeah, it's, like, almost entirely functional, functional, right? Pecan, thank you for the sub. God, these sound effects are still so good. One terrible change in this game is how they made Grunty not rhyme, and I don't like that at all. I don't understand that change in the slightest. Maybe because they had so much more dialogue to write. Game Boo, thank you for all the gift subs, man. I appreciate that a lot. That means a lot. Thank you. And True Sova, thank you too. She's rhyming now, but, like, her sisters tell her to stop or they won't help. Which is funny. It's a funny reason to stop. <laughs> because they fucking can't stand her. Seen us bony man has. <laughs> Mumbo received some changes after the first game as well. He's, like, a lot cuter in this game. In both the game itself and in, like, official art. 
He was kind of creepy looking in the original, but they, they made him a little cuter and a little easier to look at. I don't know what it- it might be the teeth? He doesn't really have visible teeth anymore. But you cheated, Kazooie. I also feel like in the Xbox 360 version, you can see Bottles' real eyes a lot better than you used to be able to, like behind his glasses. Glopez, thanks for the sub. I hope you guys are ready. This part's really sad. Music really fits. Yeah, yeah, Skull Boy. And I bet she had two heads. Giz, thanks for the sub. This was so intense as a kid. I was like, fuck, no! Run! <laughs> Bottles, you dumbass! That was really loud. I have to fucking... Hold on. Oh god, he can't hear us! <laughs> Bottles has headphones on! I remember my first- I'm sure I'll be repeating myself because I don't remember anything I said three years ago when I streamed this, but one of my first memories of this game was renting it, and I hadn't finished the original Banjo-Kazooie yet, so, like, when I stepped out of Banjo's house into, like, the destroyed, uh, Spiral Mountain, it, I was like, fuck, what happened here? She's- poor Klongo. I was like, no. Because I think I, like, because it was a rented cartridge, I think we just loaded someone else's save or something, and we started here after the cutscene. Ras, thank you for the sub. I feel like this music isn't right. This isn't the right music. It's playing the wrong music. It's play <laughs> It's out of sync, because I think the game is running too fast. Yeah, I think the emulation on the 360... Yeah, this is definitely wrong. Music goes out of sync on the 360. That's a bummer. <laughs> the music here was supposed to be, like, sad. That ruins the whole scene! He definitely wasn't the favorite character, though, so... But this was very bold of them to kill Bottles. There was, like, supposed to be, like, this song. This plays as he's, like, limping out of the house. Oh. It was sad. It's like a full minute behind. Yeah, it's really behind. I guess over the course of this really long cutscene, it just... Whatever. Alright, well, now we can play. Uh, one of the best parts about this game is that you keep all of your moves from the previous game. Every single one of them, which is fantastic. That's something that I really like, because Banjo wouldn't forget his moves. It's only been, like, what, two years since the original? So you have all of your moves, you can shoot eggs, you can do everything. And every move you learn from this point on is new, which is cool. Look, I can still see my old dirt piles. Press B to interact with them to remind you of your original moves. <laughs> Warham, thank you for the sub. Isn't uh, Royston under this rock? Yeah. Help, it's me, Royston. I was knocked off the barbecue and ended up under this rather weighty boulder. Please get... Royston, I saw you in the fishbowl in the house. I think it's very irresponsible of Banjo as a pet owner to run out of his house without his goldfish when he knew it was about to be blown up, but I'm not judging. Why was he on? He wasn't on the barbecue. He's lying. He's being dramatic. 
Royston is always so dramatic. Stupid bear and bird coming. Me wait for them in here. Yeah, all right. But yeah, starting you off in the original location where everything's all wrecked, it's just, it was a really nice way to start this game. I don't think there's anything I can do quite yet here, right? Oh, X is attack, all right. Yeah, the music's awesome. This game has, oh, fucking jam jars. I love how we haven't even met jam jars yet, so it's like, who the hell is this dude? Who is talking? What the fuck happened? No. Spiral Mountain. Fuck, we were too late. <laughs> That's exactly what I was like. <laughs> I was so sad. I didn't get Banjo-Kazooie until Banjo-Tooie was out. I remember asking for it for Christmas because I saw the commercial where Banjo and Kazooie are skydiving. And uh, I asked for Banjo-Tooie for Christmas. Not, I didn't even know it was a sequel. Uh, but I got Banjo-Kazooie instead, and I was like, well, this isn't what I asked for, but okay, I didn't even know there was another Banjo game, but then I was- ended up being happy, because it was the first one. Alright, well, let's just go fight Klungo. I don't think we can do anything here until we get more moves. We have to have the Drill Buster to get Royston out, and then there's, like, Cheeto and whatever. Love this. Poor Grunty. She just kind of sat down. Well, no, she didn't. She got to go for a ride in a robot suit. It has two in the title, though. I didn't- it's not even spelled like the letter- uh, the letter- the number two. Um, I didn't know. No idea. Drill Buster, or whatever the fuck the move is called. Alright, let's go find Klungo for real now. All I know is this game looked awesome to me, and I didn't even really know the difference. The Xbox version runs Jam Jar's tutorial- rhymes because the buttons are different oh ruins not runs ruins his rhymes oh he's supposed to write he's supposed to rhyme the buttons and it it fucks that up yeah but i mean overall i don't know if i would say this is the definitive version of the game anymore because of how badly it fucked up that music the controls are great in this version though especially the first person controls I've actually played the the FPS mode like compet well not competitive but like multi split screen and it was fun it was a blast. I don't recall anything like that happening. You is stupid. At least we can speak properly. Klungo is mad now. Your game ends here. That would have been a rip off Klungo. If the game ended here, that would have sucked. This game has, like, a bunch of bosses, too, which the first game didn't. This game also had- didn't it have, like, a boss rush or something? I know you could replay the boss battles. I keep wanting to press B to attack. Is the volume okay? The N64's frame rate is much- yeah, it's much worse. So, I mean, if you can deal with some music inconsistencies, this might be the definitive version of the game. We're almost in Jinjo Village, and Jinjo Village, like, it, the music there is still some of my favorite music in any game of all time. In any game of all time. Poor Klungo. Duh. Knocked- oh, there's achievements. <laughs> Nasty Baron Bird hurts poor Klungo. You asked for it. Why don't you run off and we'll forget this ever happened? Yeah, good idea, but not seen last of Klungo. Please beat failure Klungo with broomstick. Alright, Klungo. Maybe keep those thoughts inside of your head. Also, Banjo's portrait doesn't do, like, the sad face when he's low on health in this game, right? I also like how, like, throughout the game, you kind of follow the tracks of this, what is it called, Hag 1. It was always cool. Uh, despite this being one of my, I can still do the talent trot, right? How? I don't know how to do it, hold on. There. 
Uh, despite this being one of my favorite games of all time, I haven't played it in three years. I don't quite remember everything, so I'll get lost a bunch. Whatever. Here we go. God, this is where you start every time you booted up the game. I love this fucking town. I love this music. Yeah, this will be 100%. Not in one sitting, but it will be 100% eventually. Yeah, we gotta go see, uh, I think the Jinjos are all already gone, right? I really liked how this... They're all gone. Come and see me in my throne room and I'll tell you what happens. <laughs> I love how these characters just talk to you from nowhere. The Jingster? Is that what he just called himself? Why the fuck did they remove his personality in Nuts and Bolts? I love how you don't even, like, know who lives in here when you first visit, and he's just like, they're all gone. If Banjo and Kazooie got into Smash, what would you want their stage to be? <sighs> I feel like Spiral Mountain would have to be it. I don't know. I don't want to talk about Smash, because I could go on all day about Banjo, Kazooie, and Smash, but that would be fantastic. Um, but yeah, in case you want to know what's happening in the lore and the story, Uh, this is the, where all the Jinjos live, and Grunty ran over the fucking gray Jinjos house, and they're all dead. This is great world building. This is amazing. And they even had time to erect a sign. This is an information signpost. Press B when next to it to read it. Yeah, I will. In loving memory of the gray Jinjo family, passed away unexpectedly when a huge digging machine flattened their house. What a nice memorial. Just a fucking sign with a giant question mark on it. Find the rubble of their destroyed house. Hi- I think that- what were- how do you say your name? Hydri- Hydrilli? Thank you for the sub. But yeah, it's cool. The ways Jinjos work in this game is different. Where in Banjo-Kazooie, you collected all the Jinjos in a level to get a Jiggy. In this game, your Jinjo progress carries over from level to level, and once you collect all of the members of a single color of Jinjo, you get a Jiggy. So like, you know, over the course of the game, once you find all of the orange Jinjos, you get a Jiggy. It, it's a cool change, and I like it. There's only one white Jinjo, right? And then this game has the Minjos in it, so you gotta watch out. We don't need any more health. It sucks for speedrun. Yeah, I would imagine this game would be a pain in the ass to speedrun. All the Jinjos are also randomized. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, the Minjos go, grr. Help! Grr. There he is. I fucking love this dude. Yo, what's up? I'm King Jingling, king of all things Jinjo and ruler of this village. Your kingdom seems a bit empty. My people were scared away by those witches and their giant machine. I kind of like it quiet, but I need to get them all back for the kickball tournament next week. <laughs> I love that motivation. A big kickball rivalry between the Jinjos and the Moles, which means there could be trouble if we don't turn up. Oh dear. Exactly. Anyway, here's an in uh, incentive for you to rescue my people. Yeah, I never quite understood what his pet was supposed to be. It's not a Globo. It's like a fucking... I wonder if that's a baby Jinjo. Do you think they look like that when they're babies? Jiggy who? Jiggy Wiggy. He's the leader of a secret and ancient order dedicated to the mystical powers of the Crystal Jiggy. Ancient order? Crystal Jiggy? You just made that up, didn't you? No, Honest, it's all true. He's very important to your adventure, as only the Crystal Jiggy can open the worlds that you must enter. Can you show us the way, King Dingley? <laughs> It'll be my pleasure. Whee! Whee! I always thought that was an Ash Ketchum hat as a kid, and I was like, whoa, it's Pokemon reference. Oh, this part's very sad, too. And I'm sure the music will go out of sync. Not bad for a king, huh? Yeah, his strange pet thing was cool. <laughs> Let's go and find that Jimmy Wiggy, then. 
This is very sad. This game has a lot of fucking death in it. This actually scared the shit out of me as a kid. I was easily startled. I'm still easily startled, but this, this like, was disturbing to me. Aral, I think. Thank you for the sub. Come on, sisters. Time I lack. What's the plan to get my body back? Annoying your rhyming is. So stop it or we will not tell. Oh, if I must. See, that's the worst. Why? Me, oh me, this is. Big old black rib built by Minji and me. Life force from ground plants and creatures, it can suck. Stored in big tank, life force is. Shower Grunty will take when tank full, then new body you will have. An evil and heartless plan. I like it. They don't ever reference Brentilda in this game either, which is weird. Brentilda went wherever Tootie went. I never realized that, but both Banjo and Grunty's sisters disappeared. Between games. All I know is, and this is the last thing I'll say about Smash Brothers. If they do a Banjo stage in Smash Brothers, I want Grunty to chime in occasionally on the stage with rhymes about the fighters. Unprompted, just like randomly, like she does in Banjo Kazooie. Just give a rhyme to each fighter. I want that so bad. They won't, but okay. All right, here we go. This is disturbing. Watch, watch this. This game has a lot of mature jokes in it, like suck and blow. You might not get that if you're younger. Unlucky B O B was was Baron Bird just missed. Never mind him. What about that traitor Jingling? Why is he a traitor? I never understood that either. Why did she call him that? Whoa! See, that's scary. And his pet is like afraid. See. Like, the veins are scary. That's disturbing to me. It's still pretty creepy. Successful B.O.B. was jingling by force we have. His pet is dead? Wait, what? Hold on, hold on. I always thought he was hiding in the cushion as a kid. <laughs> and I never... Hold on, I want to go in and look at it. It's scary because you can go back in there and he'll, like... He'll, like... Talk to you as a zombie. Minter Galactic, thank you for the sub. Did you not see the ashes? I guess as I as a kid playing on a CRT, I always just assumed it was like him hiding in the cushion. I'll go back and look. I love how that laugh was just Grunty's pitched up. Hold on. Yeah, you can go in here now and the music's all scary. They did, like, a, so many fucking... Grant Kirkhope did so much music for this game. Oh, it is, like, a pile of ash. Okay. <laughs> That's fucked. <laughs> I always thought he was, like, hiding. <laughs> but, yeah, that's... Oh, yes, Lord Wu and I go way back. We often go fishing together, but I'm not supposed to tell anyone... Like, the fish boss? Is this, like, lore? Was he- Did he used to be a bad guy or something? Pumpkin, thank you for the sub. I feel like King Jingling- Or, yeah, I think he might have used to be a bad guy. If he was hanging out with the- With one of the bosses. I definitely thought the little creature was hiding as well. Okay. All right, well, let's go into Bottles' house. This is not a house. This is a cave. To see a t yeah, he does do damage. Oh, now it's a house. 
Well, it's also a cave, though. Uh, yeah, he does- he hurts you if you touch him, so... Gold feathers are used for invulnerability! Huh? Oh, this part's very funny. The writing in this game is top fucking notch. <laughs> this is so great. Hello there, Banjo. How are we today? Pretty good, Mrs. Bottles. And yourself? Oh, fine, fine. Tell her about Ghosty Boy. Keep quiet, Kazooie. What was that? Is Bottles okay? He should be back from Spiral Mountain for his dinner soon. He never misses his dinner, you know. Uh, I'm sure he'll be back soon, Mrs. B. <laughs> I'm sure he'll be back soon. At this point in the story, Banjo and Kazooie have no idea that there's a way to resurrect him. Ah, oh, Banjo! Hi, Goggles. Since you and Daddy are such good friends, I'll give you these prototype glasses he's working on. Did he finish working on them by any chance? Oh, yes. I believe they're called the Amazo Gaze glasses. How do they work? Well, when in Banjo's eyes view, use the right stick and up and down to zoom in and out. Not bad. That's a Donkey Kong reference. Because it's a monkey with a red tie. But this is on the Xbox! How do you do that? With the right stick? I don't even know how to do that. No, no, no. How are them? Oh, I haven't used them yet. I'm sure my daddy will be able to fix them. But can anyone fix daddy? <laughs> I don't think I've ever read that line of dialogue. <laughs> Press up C. Did it say to do that? Because there's no up C on this fucking stick. Whatever. Whee! Jet Force Gemini. I've never played Jet Force Gemini. I really should. What a great house. Whee! Hey there, Banjo! Hi, Specky. Me and my dad are going to be playing in the kickball tournament next week over at the Mayan Stadium. King Jingling has organized it specially for my dad since he's such a hero. Uh, I don't suppose you have any substitutes. Why would we need substitutes? My dad is the best one on the team. I'm sure he was. Uh, is. <laughs> my secret way out of the village? You might find it useful. We already know that. King Dangling is a personal friend of ours. He opened it up especially for us. Nice! Why does the king have a fucking, like, switch that activates a door in this child's bedroom? Hold on, do you have any other funny dialogue? Say! Oh, wait, say, for example, that dad... Say that your dad had been terminally zapped by an evil witch's spell. How would you react? I don't understand! What do you mean? Oh, nothing. Specky, it, th this kid is fucking huge. Banjo's a bear. Why is the music pizza time? All right, that's something that I've I noticed like last year. This song has a part of the fucking pizza music in it. This part. Just wait. It's the fucking pizza song. And there's a monster in their house and they're just okay with that. Specky has no concept of death. The pasta, put it in a box. <laughs> Sana, thank you for the sub. Oh yeah, I don't have the wall cling move yet. You learned that pretty early on, right? That was their pet. Oops. This game hasn't been very kind to pets. Alright, we're going the wrong way. That monster was their new dad. Well, now he's dead, too. Hey! 
In terms of the hub world, I think I still prefer Grunty's Lair just because of how iconic it is. And I also like the music of Grunty's Lair way more than ILO Hags. But ILO Hags is cool. It's it's big. And it's also memorable, but I, I don't know. Grunty's Lair still wins out for me. But like I said before, Showdown Town is a really fucking good hub. I don't think it quite lives up to Gr Grunty's Lair either, but it's... It's... I might like it more than this one. Let's go see if we can get anything from Heggy because of Stop and Swap. Cluck. Hello. Cluck. Heggy the Hen. Er, uh, hi, Heggy. I assume something egg-related happens in here. Cluck. Clever Bear. Cluck. Find special egg. Cluck. Then Heggy Hatch. I have plenty of special eggs. I don't think I can do it yet. Maybe not. Oh, I think I need... There's like... Yeah, I need... I need... I need the drill and the split up move. It must be much later. Fortress, thank you for the sub. Let me just make sure I can't put any in these things. Nope. Alright, we're good. Talk to her again, though? Oh, okay. Let me see. Do you want Heggy to hatch the egg? Oh, yes. Got the Heggy special egg. You see something we don't, I suppose, is ten- it is ten years old. Does it smell? Throw it in the nest. <laughs> Watch Heggy hatch. Yeah, ten years. It's all- it, that's all it took. We're finally doing it. We're finally doing stop and swap. Special Heggy Egg Awards Gamer Pick. <laughs> Bad usernames, thanks for the sub. That's what they always intended. That's what Rare always intended. Yes. Show me what's in egg number two. In the same nest, right? Yup. <laughs> That's why Stop and Swap didn't work back in the day, because they were like, what do you mean the N64 doesn't have gamer picks? What are we supposed to do? We're just gonna have to wait, I guess, till there's a console with gamer picks. Ghost Rush, thank you for the sub. Cluck Special Heggy Egg Awards Banjo-Kazooie Theme. Cluck Cool Bear and Bird Dash. I like that, too. At least they managed to fit us in around all those boxes. <laughs> no! I have one more, right? I think. Aren't there, like, only a certain amount of them you can hatch? Hopefully it's something good. Maybe it'll grant my wish to star in my own game. No chance. Rare have plans for us yet. <laughs> You can't even use the themes anymore. Cluck, watch Heggy Hatch. What do we got? Cluck, special Heggy Egg Award, homing eggs. Now there's a fucking gameplay change! Go to Cheeto Code. Well, I'm not good. That's cheating, though. The plans were Smash Brothers. <laughs> Do are there more? Jesus. This one seems heavy. All right. Doesn't one of these contain the uh the like beak b blast move or something? And wasn't Dragon Kazooie intended for one of these two? I don't quite remember what they ended up doing in the 360 version. It's a Smash Brothers invitation. <laughs> Special Heggy Egg Award. Briegel Bash. Yeah, press X and X again for Skinny Bird Bash. It's Strange Envelope Cluck. Pecan! Yeah, this move. 
feel like it's completely useless. Like, every enemy in this game dies in one hit anyway, but... Alright, let's keep going. Who would have thought Stop and Stop would come to this? It'll be... I didn't read what that said. Watch Heggy Hatch. Alright. Yeah, I love how there's just fucking... I, are those broken eggs or bird shit everywhere? Cluck Special Heggy Egg Award Jinjo as multiplayer character. He's the odd job of this game. If you play as Jinjo, you are a bitch. Are there any more? Oh my god. Last egg. All right, here we go. He's small and he's really fast. The multiplayer in this game is great. There's like a ton of different, pretty much every mini game that's in the single player, you can play multiplayer. And there were, like you could make a playlist of every game you wanted to play back to back. It was so cool. Oh, cluck. My cluck. Very special Heggy Egg Award. Cluck. This might be useful one day. Cluck. Here we go again. Well, at least that means we'll get to see our 20th birthdays. You think so? Surely Rare will make the next game faster than that. <laughs> Stop and swap too fast! <laughs> <laughs> that was the saddest thing I've ever fucking experienced. <laughs> all those fucking hours I spent as a kid watching Stop and Swap conspiracy videos all led to this. Uh... <laughs> that was a sad gamer moment. I actually never ended up getting the nuts and bolts crates on stream. We could go do that eventually. R2 Peach, thanks for the sub. Oh. Rated E? I mean, this is the level that if you look at it from up above, or this is the game where I think it's Pterodactyl Land. If you look at it from above, it has a, a dick. There's lots of inappropriate stuff in this game, fellas. Greetings, O oh Chosen One. You have entered the sacred temple of Jiggy Wiggy. Approach the golden monolith if you wish to prove yourself worthy. Rated E? God, this fucking, like, this game is so good, man. I'm sure I won't be saying that in Grunty Industries, but, like, this brings me back. It's been three years since I've played it. I haven't played it off stream at all. Galactic, thank you for the sub. I liked how the puzzles moved in this game too. It was a neat little addition. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. Connor, thank you for the sub. Um, but yeah, I don't know, man. The levels, like, themselves, the themes are way more creative than in the first game because it's not just, like, ice level... Debt beach level, grass level in this game. It's like Mayan temple level, carnival level. Look at the screen tearing on that. That was a problem in the original too when it showed like the, the little cutscenes at the end with the stop and swap eggs. One thing that I still don't quite like about this game, but that's more just to do with me as a person, is it bothers me that you can't like 100% levels the first time you visit them. I believe there's like, you might be able to do it in Mayahem Temple, but I'm pretty sure there's in, in uh, Gr Glitter Gulch Mine, there's like a few jiggies you can't get until you co like come back later. Yeah, it's loud. Kazooie has that like for one level, right? Isn't it like with the, with Gobi's Valley and Freeze Easy Peak? 
challenge to come back later when you do. But man, I mean, in, in terms of which game I was more into as a kid, it was this one. Just because of how bad I was at games and how long they lasted me. I'm sure my Banjo-Tooie save file as a kid had like 80 plus hours on it. And then like the multiplayer was so fun too, like I just was talking about. If you've never played the Banjo-Tooie multiplayer, you gotta check it out. It's fantastic. I've said this a million times, but I really am waiting for some hacker fucker to put the deathmatch mode on PC. Because they did it with Goldeneye. The FPS deathmatch mode in Banjo-Tooie is genuinely really, really fun. Yeah, these levels are so big, there's like warp pads and stuff. So that's one change. Another change is that notes are in groups of five now, which I guess is like makes it easier to keep track of them. Hey hacker fucker, put Banjo Tooie online on PC now. Oh, I keep pressing B to attack. DK64's multiplayer wasn't as fun as this game's multiplayer, to me at least. If you hack this game, I will break your kneecaps, and that is a promise. Hey, get your sorry hide over here! Hey. Well, one second, let me get these notes. This is so much smoother than last time I played this game. Like, the, the frame rate's nice. It looks good in widescreen. This is a pleasant experience. Drill Sergeant Jam Jars reporting for duty, sir. Banjo, get a load of this bozo. He looks like the he looks like bottles in uniform. Of course I look like bottles, you punk! He's my brother! How's the geek keeping anyhow? Not too good. Recently deceased at the hands of Grunty the Witch. Sorry to hear that! Fleaball! Did he go out fighting? Playing cards, actually. Typical! <laughs> The writing is so good. <laughs> Sounds good to us, Jam Jars. Why not teach us a few now? Not that easy, punk. You've got to prove your sorry selves first by collecting me a few notes. Come back if you can find enough. Hey, wait a minute. I see you've got enough notes for my first lesson. Listen and learn, you punks. What you need is a naming site. Hit the target, then you might first person view by pressing Y. Hit left trigger or right trigger to fire with accuracy. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Jam Jars. There's like a very low chance that he'll hit his head and that like ruins speed runs, right? <laughs> Mumbo plays a much more active role in this game, too, which I like. You found another warp pad! Move on to impress B to warp to another warp pad that you have activated in this world! And then the whole Mumbo thing in Cloud Cuckoo Land fucking terrified me as a kid. Because one of them, at random, is an imposter. Minji Jongo. Yeah, the rhymes are fucked up because of the different buttons. Wasn't there like a... There's a Jiggy on the very top of this thing, I believe. Yeah, I was so happy when I found out how Mumbo worked in this game, too. Because the transformations were my favorite... Like, one of my favorite parts in Banjo-Kazooie. And they, like, have the best of both worlds in this game. You got... Mumbo's still in the game, but he's playable, and then the transformations are handled by someone else, and there's a transformation in every level this time. But I remember in the playthrough I did three years ago, it's like, as cool as the T-Rex is, I remember the T-Rex being so fucking obnoxious in Pterodactyl Land, because you gotta, like, get Mumbo to change the size of the thing. You gotta, like, switch it all the time. It was annoying. All right, so let's see. How do you, all right, I have to shoot eggs into these things, right? But yeah, we'll talk more about like, as, as the game starts to frustrate me, we'll talk more about why I think as I've gotten older, I think I like Banjo-Kazooie more than this game. How do you do it? How, 
Okay, wait, hold on. How do you how do you go into first person? Why? There we go. There we go. There we go. This is so like this is so much better for aiming eggs. There was like a lot of quality of life improvements in this game. There's also a Cheeto page up there, but I think I might need to fly to get it. I did get the zoom thing from, from Goggles. What's up with you? It's terrible. I can't find Target Zan's favorite priceless relic thingy. I think it may have been stolen. Tough luck. We didn't- we don't care. <laughs> Help Chief Blodazin. Oh, yeah, alright. A Jiggy? Well, in that case... Great, I'll open the other door for you, but please hurry. This game was also cool because it had a lot of, like, doors to other worlds. They were all kind of connected. There's, like, a path to Pterodactyl Land in here, which is neat. This guy is very disturbing. I don't think I can get... I have to go in, like, the flying door that he opened up. Alright, let's see. I have to find a globo before I can use Mumbo. Let's go across the bridge. We'll get the- there's a Jinjo on the bridge, right? Blue Jinjo. Their stomachs are light blue in this game as opposed to the orange in the original. That's a small change. I don't know how I feel about that. Dr. Krunk, thank you for the sub. Take, take the shot. Help. Jinjos really are perfect creatures. I think that they're peak character design. Yippee! You saved me! I'm off for home now! Help! Grr. But yeah, I like this. This is a cool mechanic. Thanks for rescuing me. I live in this house with the rest of my similar colored family. Rescue us all and we'll give you the family heirloom. So what do you guys like do for fun in that house? Because there's nothing in there. Do you think Jinjos lay eggs or... All right. That is a good question. I wonder if Jinjos are like... If you were to touch a Jinjo, is it like a lizard? Does it have fur? Amazing. Maze. Oh, we didn't even talk to the cow first. Enough crop jokes, lady. I believe you owe us a Jiggy. Oh, I guess I do. It's flesh. Yeah, I feel like it's gotta be like skin. Like human skin. I think Jinjos are mammals. Hmm. That was taking me a fucking while to get used to these controls. Hold on, there's a Cheeto page up there. I know there is, but I might need to... Or not a Cheeto page, this thing. I think I need the hang move. Yeah, I don't know where to get that yet. I think it would feel like a Yoshi. We don't know what Yoshi feels like. You can't compare it to other fictional characters. Makes no fucking sense. Alright, so now what? These levels are so fucking big, sometimes it's hard to- oh, there it is. Sometimes it's hard to, like, think of what to do next. This must be the hang move, I think. If you backflip with a ground pound- oh yeah, that's a thing speedrunners do, right? Like, cause when you ground pound, you get, like, a little bit of extra height. Right there, you kinda rise up a bit, right before you go back down. Here's a move that's a load of fun! Now use Kazooie as a handheld gun! Left or right fires eggs both high and low. Target Sands Temple, in you can go. That'll be all. Thanks. Oh. Good RNG. The run is over. We should reset. Yeah, the, the first person segments in this game received the most improvement. Just because they're, like... 
traditional shooter controls in this game. I want to get that honeycomb piece. World record is impossible, but you can still PB. No matter what, this will probably be a PB. How do you do it? Why won't you... Why won't you grab it? Oh, Darius, I'm sorry that I missed your sub. Well, I guess we'll try it this way. Hmm. Well, that worked. I don't know why he didn't grab it, though. Oh, I got the fucking... <laughs> I wasn't paying attention, even though I read it. I got the fucking gun skill. Let's do the gun thing. I'm a dumbass. I haven't streamed in like a week. <laughs> do you prefer banjos, grunts in one or two E? I mean, they use a lot of the same sound effects, don't they? But yeah, this controls much better. Except it also it does reset you to the center for some reason still. I don't know why it does that. But yeah, these sections were kind of a pain to play. They're, they were scary to me as a kid. Just because you gotta get right up in their faces. But these are much better to play on the Xbox. When in Briegel Blaster sections, activate the aiming sight by holding right bumper or left bumper. Okay. So what? That just lets me... I feel like that's unnecessary on this version of the game, but okay. Yeah, these were repurposed as multiplayer maps. So, like, you know, it was, it was fun playing with friends and, like, you know, screen peeking, seeing what area they were in. There were, like, different egg types scattered about the map. It was fun. But yeah, this was this was like brand new for the series and this blew my mind as a kid. This one is the least stressful of the uh of the shooter levels. There's the one in uh I think is it Grunty Industries where you have to find all the fucking shit and remove it from the vents. That one's stressful cuz you have to use echolocation to find them. Also, can't you use Maybe that's a move you have to learn. There's like a melee attack, but maybe you learn it later. Yeah, Glitter Gulch Mine has the one with the dynamite, which is just as stressful. Remember the sticky mines in multiplayer? Yes! Yes, those weren't in single player. The, the fucking land trip mines or whatever. Not bad, mortal. Ten statues gain you entry to my slightly, <laughs> slightly sacred chamber. You learn the melee attack in Glitter Gulch. All right. Is this the exit to the place? No, god damn it. <laughs> yeah, that attacks for the dynamite. Let's go this way this time. These are easy to get lost in. Then there were like the gold egg power-ups. I don't remember if gold eggs were in single player. I think they might be. This is scaring me. Can we please go to the next level, please? The sticky mines were OP. Yeah, they were. Well, the different characters all had, com like, totally different stats. Grunty was like a tank. She had so much HP, but she was really slow and she was a huge target. Two blues. That's good luck for the run, right? It's gotta be. I mean, as a kid, I didn't have GoldenEye, so this was like my favorite first-person shooter experience on the N64. Alright, let's go in here. This is, uh... I think this is just a Jiggy, right? Yeah, then, then once you get all of the target Zan heads, then you fight him. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. 
Oh, Noble, did I thank you for the sub? Thank you. Um, all right, we gotta find like three more. I don't know why I decided to stream Banjo. I wanted to start 2019 with like something that I was really going to enjoy and I'm gonna enjoy playing this, so. It's a good way to, to start off 2019 streams. I still have to finish Kingdom Hearts and I still have to finish, uh, most impressive mortal 20 statues gained you entry to my really sacred chamber yeah i still have to finish finish kingdom hearts um which i'm almost done with i think there's like one more stream of that halo is something that is on hold right now a lot of people don't haven't seemed to have heard i i've tried to say it in a lot of streams but i'm having technical difficulties with halo so i'm not sure when that's coming back um and then katamari which i'm still doing too so we got a few games to finish up from 2018, but then it'll be new stuff, and I've got plenty of new stuff planned. Pac-Man Trinity, thank you for the sub. There's been a lot of subs tonight. Thank you, guys. Uh, I haven't asked this at all. How how was you guys' holidays? Did you have good ones? I hope you did. Get, uh, get on Xbox and stream Halo 3 custom games. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Very good. I got a cool gift. That's what I like to hear. I... Rad. It was meh. I ripped off my toenail. Bad Christmas. Bad Christmas. Sign an apartment lease. Congratulations. Oh shit, yeah, there's the golden eggs. Yeah, you get like infinite of these for a minute, so you get to hear that. Yeah, my Christmas was a lot more busy than I thought it would be. Chihuahua, thank you for the sub. Okay, so is that the really sacred chamber? Which one's the really sacred chamber? I think it's the one on the right. Did your family enjoy the Fuggler? Okay, yeah, the Fuggler was the most popular gift at the Yankee Swap. It got swapped the most amount of times. Everyone loved it. My brother ended up with it. We'll have the game finished in no time. Haha, <laughs> you thought. Halt, mortal. Thought you'd get another Jiggy that easily, eh? The bosses in this game are awesome. Except for maybe Lord Woo Woo Fak Fak. I don't like fighting that dude just because I don't like controlling things underwater, but... Oh, we have the golden eggs for the fight, though. I don't think I've ever done this fight with the golden eggs. What's the fuggler? Okay, well, I don't think I still have the picture on my desktop, but I found this. We had to do a Yankee swap at my grandma's for Christmas. This is really fucking loud. Hold on. We had to do a Yankee swap, which is where, like, everyone brings a gift and then you trade them and whatever. Uh, and I, I brought a stuffed animal called a fuggler with realistic human teeth. And <laughs> everyone loved it. It came with, like, a fucking ownership certificate inside the box. Derpty, thank you for the sub. Yeah, I've, it's also called White Elephant and Dirty Santa or whatever. I ended up getting a gift that I really liked, which was, like, a hot cocoa kit. It came with two mugs and, like, some, some nice hot cocoa mix and some cookies. I was happy with that. Yeah, I don't like the name Dirty Santa either. And you know what? Nobody even took it from me. I opened my present like third, and I was sure someone was going to steal it, but they didn't. I got to keep it. I love hot cocoa. I got a 20-pack of hot sauce for my Yankee Swap. <laughs> oh, self-destruct, right. Yikes. Hot cocoa. Good. I think we could probably... I'm only doing one game tonight just to ease myself back into streaming. Uh, so we'll probably do this for like three hours or something. So we could probably finish my um, temple tonight. I got Pickle Rick socks. <laughs> That's a good gift. I looked up Dirty Santa, and I got a picture of Santa shitting on a chimney. Yeah, that sounds about right. 
I thought Maya Hem you could finish in one go. I might be wrong. We'll do as much of it as we can. Is that not a, that's not a door? Are you emulating this? I'm playing this in the rare replay collection. So I think it should be fine. Dun 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 dun. Did any of you guys get anything cool for Christmas that you enjoyed? Or not even just Christmas, whatever holiday. Or New Year's. What did you guys get for New Year's? I'm trying to run Stwa Bunny's bit right now. It's hers. I feel bad for taking it. Her favorite bit is to ask people what they got for holidays that you don't typically get presents for and, like, see the way they react to it. Like, what did you guys get for St. Patrick's Day? Um, oh wait, there's a flight pad. Where's the flight pad in this level? I got a card game called What Do You Meme? Oh, that, I actually have a funny story regarding that. On Christmas, uh, my cousin brought What Do You Meme to my Nana's house. And where is the flight pad? Maybe it's down there? Uh, and we played it. And my Nana's has a friend that's a nun. And the nun was there and she was not happy with the things that we were saying. Like the swear words. And she came over to us and she said, You know, every man is born and can become either an angel or a demon. And I didn't know quite how to react to that. But she was not happy. And my uncle said we had to stop playing it. <laughs> That's all she said. What did she mean by that? I have no idea. It's a stupid game. You like get a picture of a meme and then you have you get a bunch of captions and you have to pick the best caption for the meme you got. Uh all right. We need to be a stony to get in there. That's a Jinjo up there too. I need to find that flight pad. And I need a globo too. I need the drill to get that. That's the flight pad, right? What kind of captions are there? Very dirty captions. Yeah, I need the trill. Hmm. And I don't think you get the the get the drill till uh till till Glitter Gulch Mine. Oh wait, look at that. It's a bad version of TKO. Well, I would Oh, you need the backpack crawl. You need shit from later levels everywhere in this game. Um no, because you don't make the memes yourself. You just get a picture with a- like, you get a card with a meme on it. Hmm. It would be way more fun if you wrote your own captions. I think there are, like, wild card cards or whatever. Mario, thank you for the sub. Alright, let's go see, uh, Mumbo. I think there might even be a Globo in his house. Oh, wait, you know what? No, we don't need the drill. We can kick that rock with Mumbo's transformation, right? Yeah, we can just turn into the golden statue and kick it. It's a bad version of Cards Against Humanity. Yeah. Huh. Globos are really cute. Did you see the little... Next time I see a Globo, I gotta, like, zoom in on it. It was very adorable. Look at its little face down there. They're really cute. I don't know, I had fun playing it. Ah, uh, Baron Bird here at last. Mumbo, best shaman in game, so built new skull. Mumbo also want to help, but must find me magic. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've got a globo. There was one in your house, dude. This was so cool as a kid, especially after playing Banjo Kazooie. Because I was like, what? I get to be him? He was my favorite. <laughs> yeah, he's the hero now. I'm pretty sure the Globo just has Tootie's face. Oh, shit. Ooh. Oh, does it? Hold on. Did you post a picture? Hold on, hold on, hold on.
It... Hmm. Hold on. Let me show you. Where is it? There it is. That kind of does look like Tootie's face. Toadie, Tootie was... Toadie. Tootie was split into a million small creatures. They are very cute, though. But yeah, Mumbo is playable. He's got a very, very limited move set, and by that I mean all he can do is jump, do this, and he can swim, I think, but only on the surface of water. And uh, his primary use in levels is to bring him to the Mumbo pad so he can do his special move, which usually changes something in the world. It's pretty novel. I like it. Oof. Can't you twirl while you... Yeah, you can do this. Alright, let's see. Remember the, the great, funny JoJo joke I made in the stream three years ago with this? I can't do it again. I can't... There's no time. I can't do it again. <laughs> I played that fucking song. The one that plays, like, the Pillar Man theme. <laughs> Mumbo Magic. Yeah, that was good. Great bit. Great bit. Alright. Yeah, you only got 75 seconds. I can't do the same bit twice. When have you ever known me to repeat a joke? Ever. All right, there's- I hear a Jinjo. I don't see a Jinjo. Um, all right, let's try to open all these doors if we can. Well, that one is actually- you need to- we're gonna have to do this again. Hold on. We should have tried to open that one last. Space Opal, thank you for the sub. Dungeon Brick, I've never heard of that one. Yeah, we got, I'll try to, like, open all of these doors at the time for, for like, this transformation, and then we'll do it again and go into that door. Because I think there's a Jinjo in there we can get, and then I know there's, like, quicksand we can walk through. Mumbo no like this bit. Mumbo no like Jojo. He reminds me of Golden Homer. <laughs> All right, can we do it? Can we just re refresh it? Like, all right. How did you even get back down in there? You gotta watch it again, huh? Ecom bokum. Okay. It would've been really funny if he just got fucking launched. Alright, let's go in here. There's a Jinjo, like, right ahead, right? Yeah. Okay, give me this. Do I need to be Banjo? I probably need to be Banjo. Oh. Good. But, I mean, as a kid, for whatever reason, the novelty of playing as, like, a new creature in a game was always so fucking exciting to me. And I think Rare knew that, and they, like, doubled down on it in this game. That's why there's so many more transformations and stuff like this. This was just so cool. Getting to play as anyone other than, like, the protagonist was, was just very exciting. I may have done everything I needed to do, hopefully. Odyssey would have... I mean, it was still great to me as an adult, but as a kid, Odyssey would have fucking... I, I would have loved that. Is there... Oh, wait. Okay. The pyramid... Do fuck, okay. I gotta do it again. Was it in there? Right, the one that's, like, under the snake pyramid, right? Right, forgot about that. There's a lot of shit to do. I think my favorite level in this game is Witchy World. I love the fucking whole, the whole atmosphere of that place. The music, 
like different themes of the attractions. All the mini games are fun. The transformation is fun. Let me just go this way. Okay, almost there. Almost there. Almost there. There's not even a door there. Oh, now there is. <laughs> yeah, Saucer of Peril sucks, but it's nowhere near as bad as the Saucer of Peril in Nuts and Bolts. Fuck the Saucer of Peril in Nuts and Bolts. Do you remember how fucking long that took? Especially because you, like, never really knew if you were going to fail until the very end. All right, now I think we're done. No, you can go back. How do you go back? Go back. Go back. I think you need to go back onto the platform, so we'll just wait for it to run out. Yeah, the NPCs that sell the burgers and fries are fucking disgustingly animated. <laughs> the way they, like, wipe their snot and shit. Saucer of Power was fun as a kid, but yeah, it's definitely frustrating. Okay, I don't think we need Mumbo anymore. That's kind of why I described him as somewhat of a novelty. Because it's like, yeah, you're playing as Mumbo, but he's essentially just like a key. And then you go put him back. I want to eat Big Al's burger. I don't. I love burgers, but I don't want to eat at Big Al's. My mom took away Banjo-Tooie when I was young because of Mrs. Boggy. <laughs> Sorry, dude. That sucks. But it's really funny. Oh, that's the noise you made when your mom took away your copy of Banjo-Tooie because of Mrs. Boggy. Oh. Rare are a bunch of fucking horny developers, aren't they? All right, let's go back down to the bottom now. World entry and exit. Rare in their fucking massive boob characters. You know, playing this game so close to Ban- Uh, not Ban- Fucking Grab by the Ghoulies. There's a lot of, like, similarities, and especially, the, like, the Witch Sisters. They kind of look like they'd be in Ghoulies, don't they? Uh, this is probably the grab move right here. Listen up to what you're told. On the edges you can now hold. Move along with the greatest of ease. Button X to attack what you please. That was like two moves in one. I can climb and attack while... Cl oh god, great RNG. Yeah, Minji is slang, right? That's one of the sisters is Mingella, and then there's Minji Jongo. Okay, let's see. I think there's a Globo right up here. They didn't really hide the Globos too well in this level. Yeah. I love these stupid idiots. I didn't know it was happy hopping moron day. Oh. They're way better than the mumbo tokens. Big heap welcome to... Oh, I didn't read it. I'm Banjo and my feathered friend is Kazooie. Me humble wumba, best magic person on island. We heard that mumbo was the best. Not true. Mumbo amateur. Humba best. You bring Globo magic creatures here. You have Globo. Want to give Humba? Yes. Sure, I'll just throw it in. Humba Wumba looked like an entirely different character in Nuts and Bolts. She got redesigned, like, super hard. Alright, is there anything else in here? Spells written by Humba Wumba. <laughs> yeah, one of these in one of the levels is like I think it might be Freeze Easy Peaks that you can you can go through. Hey! Humba 
one book or one book called the stony use left stick to move and press x for big heap barrage or barge attack yeah right yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Ha! now we can play the kickball game hooray and we can also talk to other stonies I think it would have fixed the pacing in this game, or at least dialed back on the tediousness of some challenges, if you could transform at will. Like, once you visited Humba once, if there was, like, a button you could press to transform back and forth, that would have been great. She kind of looks like the banana fairy. Yeah, she does. Um, okay, so I don't know if there's anything to do as... The stony in here. I know we can go through there, right? Let me see. I think we can maybe get the, uh... I think we could possibly... Oh, yeah, this is the code chamber. I think we can possibly get that honeycomb piece at the start of the level now, too. The banana fairy still is mysterious to me as an adult. What do you mean? I just put new batteries in this. Okay. I think I need to have eggs for this. Then why is there even a... Why can the stony even get in here? Hmm. Yeah, it's nice being able to attack as the transformations. Like when you were the pumpkin in the last game, there was no method of attack. I think every, every transformation can at least defend itself in this game. Is that where you enter the cheat codes, or is that... I don't think you... Cheeto allows you to turn on the cheat codes, but he's in Grunty's lair. Do you prefer the N64 version or this version? Um, I'll have to get back to you on that. That's the cheat code chamber. All right. How do you animate a pumpkin attacking? Just like this. This music kind of reminds me of RuneScape. <laughs> I guess I can kind of see that. Yeah, aside from the intro being weird, I'd say this version is probably better. But the intro being weird is, is very disappointing. Alright, let's go. I'm Banjo the Stony. Can I come in and play? Hmm, I don't know. That backpack looks kind of familiar. Are you saying we're a barren bird in an elaborate disguise trying to cheat our way in? Yep, it's pretty obvious, but they're a bit short on players, so you might as well go in anyway. <laughs> what happened in the intro? The music got like a minute out of sync because of the frame rate difference between this and the original. I honestly would love to see like crash style complete remakes of these games. Oh, I didn't even know there was a little training area down here. Because I don't know if we'll ever see another, like, typical collectathon banjo game, but I think the least they could do is do a remaster of these two. As long as they, like, don't use nuts and bolts designs and they just kind of HDify the old models, that would be nice. I'd like that. All right, yeah, we're going to do these three challenges. Welcome to the Mine Amateur Kickball Championship. You may enter the quarterfinals, but I'd advise you to take up a little training downstairs first. No, I'm good. Didn't say rare. Didn't rare say no to that. I have no memory of that. Did Microsoft... Oh, I guess Microsoft may have shot down those ideas before. Crash-style remake or Spyro-style remake with a HD... I mean, Crash was had HD... Spyro redesigned a lot of the characters. I wouldn't want them to redesign any of these characters. What is it? Z to kick? I would want them to just make the model... Like, I would want them to HDify the designs, but not change any of them. Why, why does that keep happening? This controller sucks, dude. Could you turn back on, please? Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I haven't played the Spyro remake 
and I also haven't really played any of the original Spyro games, but from what I've seen, the Spyro remake was different from the Crash one because while Crash kind of stayed faithful to the original designs, the Spyro ones really changed up some of the designs, probably because the original designs were so simplistic. But I, I think these games have such strong character design, and it's so charming and memorable that I wouldn't want them to change much at all. Like, give them HD models, maybe fix up their animations a bit, but I don't know. I wouldn't want them to change, like, the character of the, of the characters. This is how soccer works. This is kickball. This is Mayan kickball. I don't think- I think I know a little bit more about Mayan kickball than you do, genius. In round two, they put red balls on the court that you can throw into other people's goals to subtract from their score. Why don't people play this in real life? This would be sick. Just have some guy throwing these balls onto the court, onto the field, and then like four players just running around trying to kick balls into their own goal. <laughs> this would be so cool. Oh, this is- this is embarrassing, guys. This is embarrassing. This is just hungry, hungry hippos. Not- not really. It's close. It involves putting balls into things. You have won your semi-final. The Mayan Kickball final beckons. If I recall correctly, this version is a lot easier than the original. I don't remember ever having such a gigantic lead, so you might be right. You've no chance of becoming champion. Yes, I do. You don't. Oh, maybe they're... Oh, shit. Hold on. They're trying harder this time. I definitely move faster than them. <laughs> These little dudes are so fucking funny looking. This game has so many mini games in it, and they're all pretty fun. And pretty much all of them use, like, the in-game controls, too. So you don't have to ever get used to how to play them, they just all make sense. Alright, well, we're, you know what? Honestly, we probably don't have to do anything. I did it. I declare you the new Mind Kickball Champion. I'm too choked up for words. Thanks. Alright, cool. Uh, that might be the entrance into... Is this the entrance into the fucking Pterodactyl Land? Hmm. Why did I give the Stony a Nathan Fielder voice? That wasn't my Nathan Fielder voice. Tito, thank you for the sub. That's Hellfire Peaks. Okay. Alright, let's warp back to... Unless there's any... Is there anything else I have to do as the Stony? I don't know. I don't think there's anything in there. I'm trying to remember. I don't think. Alright, let's go back. Actually, we'll get that honeycomb piece, and then I think we're done. You'll make it, little dude. Just keep keep waddling. What would Nathan Fielder sound like in Banjo-Kazooie talk? <laughs> like that, probably. Here you go, you're almost there! You made it! You need to talk to a guy to learn the code for the prison. Oh, right, 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 right! Because there's that dude that only the stony can understand. Is he in here? No. Where is he? He's in- is he in the door with the crack in it? Because it's like right at the entrance, isn't it? <laughs> Bottles loved my idea. <laughs> I had a simple plan for Jam Jars. Get his brother killed so he could take over his business. <laughs> I 
I think it's in here. I hope. It takes the stony so fucking long to get anywhere. Yeah, I'm back. I'm back. It's been a long time. I missed you guys. Yeah, it's right here. Right? Oh. Is it you? To free the trapped one, the moon must appear before the first star. The sun rises next, after which come two more stars. Does that help? I think so. Can you guys remember that for me? Because isn't this later on that I need to do this? No, I was originally planning on streaming on, like, the 27th, but shit got really busy. I already forgot. Oh, wait, no, maybe you can do it right now. You can do it right now. I thought you had to, like, go inside there from the other side. Can you just tell me it again so I can do it? Because I was planning on you guys just remembering it and doing it later. To free the trapped one, moon, star, sun, star, star. Moon, sun, moon, star, sun, star, star. Moon. Is this different in each playthrough? There's that little rat in here. The rat! Fucking rat. Hello, my little rabid friend. Eek! Me, Dilberta, was out looking for gold when that boulder fell down and trapped me in here. I suppose you'll expect us to move it? Eek, if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> I'm sorry, was your name Dilberta? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Dilbert. Your name might as well have been Melvina. Uh-oh, I'm stuck in here forever now. There must have been, like, there's so many things to remember when designing these levels. Like, they have to remember in every body of water to put a ramp so in case you're a stony, you can get out of the water. There's nothing down here I can do. Dilbert. <laughs> Dilbert's like a Melvin-type name, but for some reason we never talk about Dilbert. <laughs> Pen girl. <laughs> Dilberta Gita, commonly referred to, uh, is an Asian elephant that was alive during the time of the development of Banjo-Tooie and may have inspired the name of the character. What? What? Why would they name that rat after an elephant? Oh. I just saw you! You're alive, Banjo! Oh, wait. Well, you know what? That was a death warp on purpose. Death warp. Ho, 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 ho. Elephants are scared of mice. Isn't that a myth? I thought that, well, I guess even if it is a myth, it's like something that people just know. You know what? No, I get that confused with the time I asked my fifth grade teacher if elephants really liked peanuts, and he said that was a myth. All right, now let's go... Actually, no, 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 stay in here. Let's do the pyramid. Or the snake on top of the pyramid. Elephants only like circus peanuts. There's like this fucking inside joke in my family where we used to go to this parade every year growing up and my aunt would always bring me those fucking orange peanuts. You know the like candy peanuts that are like... They're like kind of soft and they're orange. I think they're called circus peanuts. I don't know. Um, but she would bring those for me every year because she thought they were my favorite candy. I fucking hate those things. I think they're disgusting. But she brought them for me every year and I was, I was too nice to tell her I didn't like them. And then one year later on in life, I told her that I never liked them and it was really funny. <laughs> I really- they were- they're so sweet! That parade is also why I despise clowns, because I- I'm sure I've mentioned this before, but I brought- One year I wore my favorite Power Rangers shirt to that parade, 
and a clown squirt water at me. And he got my Power Rangers shirt all wet and I was pissed off. I was so mad. Why would he do that to my favorite shirt? He got it all wet. Isn't this like one of the only times in the game that sneaking is actually useful? I didn't. I thought you'd steal Slumber's gold while he slept, did you? Well, yes, to be honest. But I heard you coming, clumsy bear. Oh. Can you put it back out? Splendid. They seem to have gone. Must get some more sleep. It's easier to just jump into it or jump for it. You lied. You can't. Kindred Spirit, thank you for the sub. Happy New Year to you too. A happy New Year to everyone in chat. Snow Radish, thank you too. Maybe if I do a... You can jump air peck and go further than a double jump. You need to air attack then flutter. I want to do it this way. I don't think I've ever done it this way. I just want to try it. I want to try it. You can't don't have enough time to do that. Hold on. You can't do it right after that. Might need the Talon Trot. <sighs> Throw Cappy, then dive. <laughs> you have to doodle dip? Alright. I feel like on this control stick, there's a very small area that's considered tiptoeing. We'll just, it's gonna take a while, but we'll go this, we'll go like this. Smooth to smooth Tony, thank you for the sub. <laughs> I like your username, Smooth Tony. Get fucked, slumber. Oh, now you don't wake up. Hmm. Is that a- what is that? Doodle- doodle- doodle dip. Is that a thing? I think I've missed a lot of memes in the last week. Um, alright, so this is just for cheat codes. I don't need that. It's a new vine sauce meme from Space Kids. What is Space Kids? I don't know. I haven't watched any of any streams in the last, like, while. In the last while. Alright, let's see. Stream Space Kids. Is it like a- is it one of those new games that everyone's playing? Someone relate Space Kids to Dante's Inferno? I need to play this game. It's an old CD-ROM game. I've never heard of it. I need to do some more old Windows 3 games. I've got some more lined up. I got a lot of stuff planned for this year. I want to put a bunch of videos out this year, and I want to do a lot more streaming. Okay. Uh... Hmm. Oh, I can- I gotta get- okay, wait, 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 we can do the flight pad stuff. Let's go. Let's get that Jinjo. Vinny played Pennsylvania- oh, god, I wish I could have warned him. <laughs> Fuck that game. That was the game with the frog that drank the gasoline, right? Great game. Gotcha, Jinjo! I hated that game, and I hated every character in that game. Alright, uh, we can probably get that Cheeto page or honeycomb thing. I don't know if- did we get this? I don't think we got this, because I remember we came over here. Yeah, we got it. It's just hard to tell because stuff fucking doesn't appear until you're close enough to it. 
That game also ha Oh, the babies! <laughs> right, I forgot about the babies. We haven't- we streamed that a while ago now. That's an old stream. Whoa! I still have- I probably- my old Banjo-Tooie strategy guide, I think, fell apart because I read it so much. You never played the sequel, you teased it. I don't think that was a tease. That was me opening up a game that I didn't know what it was, and then when I saw that it was a Pennsylvania game, I fucking got the hell out of there as fast as possible. Corgi Party, thank you for the sub. Uh, is there anything? There's a Jiggy up here or something, right? No? All right, well then we'll go in that door we opened. I just wanted to make sure, but I think we'll exit that way anyway, so. Yeah, we're doing two again. It's been three years. I'm always wondering, oh yeah, so now we're in Pterodactyl Land, which is like level five or something, but I like this. I like how they, isn't this also a tiptoe thing? I don't know. Um, I like how this game has a lot of interconnected worlds. No way it's been three years. Yeah, it has. And I'm always, like, I never know when it's been long enough to stream a game again. You know, Luigi's Mansion we do every year, but that game's really short. When it comes to longer games like Banjo-Tooie, it's like, how long do I have to wait before I stream it again? Um, but I think that three years is enough time. I feel like my streams from three years ago are so bad that, you know, I'd like I'd rather have, like, a modern stream of this game yeah i need to do i'm gonna definitely do another zelda game this year and i'm probably gonna do ocarina of time before i stream majora's mask i love the fucking dinosaurs in this level Four twenty. Jam jars! Can you do some kind of Ben Drowned bit during Majora's Mask? Yeah, I'll try. Listen, Pikmin 3 is a stream that will happen, I think, when Nintendo decides to do a port of it. Because I don't want to fucking break out the Wii U. I just don't want to. It's in the same boat as, like, Halo 3. Once the developers and the, the companies decide to fucking work with me, then I'll stream their game. Huh? Get out, Unga's cave. What did he do to make me leave? That's weird that they put two tiptoe things right next to each other. Another game I really want to do this year is Little Big Planet. And I'm not sure if I want to just skip Little Big Planet 1 or. Because Little Big Planet 2 has the objectively, ob objectively superior level creator because there's just more shit you can do in it. Um, but, like, I, I would want to do the single player of Little Big Planet because that would be very nostalgic for me. I haven't played that since, like, the Christmas it came out. All right, that's cool. Little Big Planet 1 is a very fucking nostalgic game for me. It's why I got a PS3. I have so many memories of, of playing through the single player of Little Big Planet 1. Maybe I could just do the single player of 1, then jump into 2, do the single player of 2, and then, like, play community levels in 2. The single player is not very long. Where do I bring this? Back to Target Zan, dude? I am interested in dreams, but I, I haven't seen enough of it. The first entire story got uploaded to the community. Wait, why don't I have it anymore? I was looking at chat. Aren't I supposed to bring it back to this dude? This is his thing that was stolen, right? Did he get it? Did 
Remember when people made emo costumes in Little Big Planet? You have it in, oh, it's in your inventory now. All right, that's weird, but okay. This dude's gross. The caveman stole it. Why those thieving little? Careful, this is a family game. Oh yes, so it is. Why don't I just give you a chicken? <laughs> Okay, well, if Little Big Planet 1's story is available in Little Big Planet 2, then we can just do that, I guess. Peeble? Oh, Pebble. <laughs> that was just me reading it wrong. <laughs> uh, Mikhail, Mikhail Online, thank you for the sub. No, I said Pebble. It's Peeble time, baby. I think I'd like to stream the 3DS version of Ocarina if I could, but I don't have a 3DS capture card, so I might have to look into things. I'm not really interested in playing Little Big Planet 3 from everything I've heard. I don't know. The Jiggy. I didn't automatically collect it? I was looking at chat. I've gotten so much worse at streaming over the years. I thought I just automatically collected it. <laughs> Where did he put it? Up there? Where'd you put it? Oh, there. Okay. Little Big Planet 3 was going to be my reason for getting PS4. Wasn't it also on PS3? Let's see. Um, I don't know what else there is I can do at the moment. Femi, thank you for the sub as well. This is the max amount of jiggies you can get here for now. Is it? I don't know. I like the idea of multiple playable characters in Little Big Planet 3. That was a cool idea. But everything I heard about it just sounded like people didn't like it very much. Oh, there's another Jinjo somewhere. Jinjos must be able to breathe underwater. The thing that bothers me about the Jinjos in this game is that Jingling said they ran away. They weren't captured or anything. They just ran away, picked a random spot to sit, and then just yelled for help. Like, I don't quite understand what they need help with. What exactly is going on here? They need help finding their way home? Alright, let's do this. They end up running too far and got lost. I guess. And you are, aren't you, when you get lost at the mall as a kid, aren't you supposed to stay where you got lost or whatever? Stay put! So, so Dilberta can find you. That's nowhere near as good as Captain Blubber's Cry. Is Captain Blubber's Cry reused in this game? You know the one. <laughs> yeah, I think the puzzles were fucked up last time I streamed this. I never got lost as a kid. I did that thing once, I think, where you look away from your mom, and then, like, you think someone else is your mom, and you start following them. I don't think the lady noticed, though, so I was good, but that scared me a lot. Yeah, the controller rumbles like crazy during this. I wanted you to hear it, but it stopped. You are indeed the chosen one. You also have enough- What? You- dunk? All right, let's do the next one, too. Let's just do it. Might as well unlock it. Glitter Gulch Mine has fucking awesome music. I hate the fucking rat men that work at the carnival. 
Nope. Nope. There we go. I thought I tried that piece and it just didn't work, but whatever. Did you see they just teased the Minjo? Grr. Have you ever called someone? Yeah, there, there's like that thing you also do as a kid by accident where you call your teacher mom. I think I did that once in first grade. Flume of Doom. You never get to ride the Flume of Doom. Why can't you use his face as a Jiggy? That should have been the final Jiggy. Hear that? There should have been a fucking, like, rumor in the early 2000s. Like, did you hear about the secret final Jiggy in the game? You get King Jiggy Wiggy to give you his head. And you get to unlock the final puzzle. And the last world is like a version of Click Clock Woods from the future. And everything's like destroyed. All right, let's head to, I guess we can head over. Let's climb this thing. Is this how you get to Glitter Gulch Mine? I saw a rumor where you could unlock the kids from rocket power and smash. <laughs> that sounds like a dream I would have. I have really fucking weird dreams like that. I told you guys like the other week for some reason I had a dream that there was fucking codename Kids Next Door Spirits and Smash Brothers. <laughs> I have really fucking weird dreams. All right, let's see. Uh, where's that Jinjo? I hear you. Where are you? Might maybe he's under that rock. In which case, I don't understand why he can survive. But also, how did you get under that rock? Did you hide? He must have hid under it. Oh God! Here comes the fucking bee. Actually, do we even? I don't even think we need to go see the bee yet. I think that that might be unnecessary. He got smashed by the rock. Hmm. Hold on. Can I learn? Do you learn fire eggs? Now's the time for you to learn shooting eggs that crackle and burn. Thanks. Dismissed. A brand new egg you have acquired. Now I'll tell you how they're fired. <laughs> Tap RB or LB to get your eggs on view. Tap it again until it's right for you. Thanks, Jam Jars. The different egg types are fun in this game, too. That one just doesn't switch, I guess. Yeah, we can open up this path now. Alright, uh, I mean, we've only been streaming for two hours, so we can definitely start Glitter Gulch Mine. Let's just go see the fucking bee. <sighs> Hi there, big bear. I'm Honey Bee. Uh, why couldn't you be a mistress of the Jiggies instead? Because that would have made your quest too easy. However, I can grant you extra energy units in return for empty honeycombs. I suppose that's better than nothing. Don't be so rude, Kazooie. Oh, sorry, Wasp Lady. I'm Honey Bee, a bee, not a wasp. Right, you are, Hornet Girl. You have enough honeycombs for one extra energy unit. Do you want to trade? Yes. Sure, honey. Toss your honeycombs over here then. 
big bear. Here's your extra energy. Can we please leave? Can we please leave? Nintendo tried to rip off this character with the Honey Queen in Mario Galaxy. DJ Shithead, thank you for the sub. <laughs> Feels like a year since you've streamed. Yeah, I decided not to go for that joke, but I've seen a lot of people in chat make that joke where they're like, Mike, you haven't streamed all year. It's a classic bit. I feel like Banjo Kazooie wasn't, didn't have as much horny stuff in it. Something happened to them between games. Hmm. I fucking love the cowboys in this level. Oh! Hmm. Alright, yeah, we gotta get the We have to find this fucking drill move as soon as possible. Oh! Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, no, not you. Bleep, I'm trapped in this mine by that blocked tunnel, bleep. How did you get here in the first place? Oh, we have to be TNT. I feel like getting turned into a fucking lighter for, t for TNT is very scary. Like the ignition box or whatever it is. That's scary. If I were Banjo, I would ask what they were planning on turning me into before I jumped in that pool. Am I alone in that I wanted to like the purple jewel? Uh, what? Am I alone in that I wanted to like the purple jewel hills? I don't quite get what you said. Lick. Oh. <laughs> uh... It kind of looks like candy. I don't know if I ever thought about licking it. Yeah! Yeah, it kind of looks like rock candy. This is such a good level. Am I saying geodes look like candy? Yes. In fact, did you know that they made rocks to look like rock candy? That's- this bit is going nowhere. Let's just- next bit. Um, where's this Jinjo at? Jinjo! Where are you? Must be up here. I don't think it's till Witchy World we start running into Minjos. Minjos are terrifying. Because in this game, you can't tell what a Minjo is, like, until you approach it. Unless you're keeping track of how many Jinjos you've gotten. Like, if, you've, if you're sure you've collected all of the white Jinjos and it's a white Jinjo, you know it's not real, but... Also, I was always confused about Minjos in this game because, like... They always sparked and made mechanical noises like they were robots. Train station. Do you know where the train station is? You could always spy, ch <laughs> spy check. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can just shoot at every Jinjo you see. What's in here? Gloomy caverns. Uh. God, these levels are so big. Oh, fuck this. Yeah, Minji Jongo is a robot, so maybe Minjos are robots too. But wouldn't that mean Mingella is also a robot? Or Minji Min Mintilda? Whatever her name is. Invader Guy, thank you for the sub. Thank you guys very much for the subs. And again, I'm very sorry I haven't streamed in over a week now. It was really out of my control. But I should be back now for, for good. So, 
We'll do lots of streams this year, and it'll be a good time. Keep on going, Banjo. This level is scary. Use the secret move. He didn't see that one coming. What's some advice about growing on this platform? On Twitch, whenever I get asked that, I never quite... It's, it's tough because I feel like I had an advantage starting Twitch. Because I used to do, like, cartoons and stuff. And I had somewhat of a YouTube following from that. So I feel like I used that sort of to, to jumpstart Twitch. And I kind of had an audience from the start. In terms of, like, starting from scratch, though, I really don't know. I can tell you one thing not to do, and it's not to go to someone else's stream and tell them to come watch your stream instead, or your son's stream. Because that is not cool. Car crash, thank you for the sub. Oh, uh, God. Yeah, when it comes to the levels, they're just like... I find myself wandering a lot more aimlessly in the Banjo-Tooie levels. Just because... In Banjo-Kazooie, you can kind of almost see the whole level out in front of you at all times. But in, in this game, there's so many alternate rooms and, and twisting paths and stuff. It's, it's kind of hard to remember where you're going. Um, I'm not going to go in there yet. That dude who... The dude who popped in and asked us to fucking listen to his music the other day was like that guy from Spongebob who was like, the dog at the shell shack is singing. <laughs> Hey guys, the talking dog at the shell shack is singing. Uh, what is this? Oh fucking no! We need the speed shoes for this. I don't know if I have. Oh no, Canary Mary. <laughs> Fuck. Can we do Canary Mary now and just get it over with? Some of the levels just aren't laid out with good landmarks. Yeah, I mean that's part of why. As I've gotten older, I think that I think Banjo-Kazooie... It's just Banjo-Kazooie's levels kind of feel more manageable, if that makes any sense. I don't remember how to get Canary Mary to spawn. Or don't you have to, like, fix the minecart or something? Canary Mary's a very strange and upsetting character to me. Because I'm still 100% convinced that that woman is not a bird. That they're like a human wearing a bunch of feathers with glue. Um, I remember there being a Jinjo up here on top of one of the water tanks, right? I mean, I'm gonna do everything in the game. I don't know, I mean, there's still plenty more new games that I wanna stream, and part of me feels bad about restreaming a game. But, again, it's been, like, three years. This is one of my favorite games, and I want to have, like, a modern stream of it. Also, I don't know. I just kind of felt like streaming a game that I really like for my first stream of 2019. We've got plenty good stuff coming, though. Maybe it was a... I almost called this a pagey. I want to play ukulele again. Yeah, it's been long enough. I did Kazooie not too long ago, and that I, even though I did that all in one sitting, I also had already streamed that game before, so that was a repeat stream. Ukulele sucks. Joshua, you're my friend, and I respect your opinion. Boom, boom, boom. 
I did Mario 64 not three years ago. I think that was, what, two years ago now? I'm losing track of time. Time is slipping away so fast. How do I get up there? Oh, do you have to walk a... How do you get up there? Oh, maybe... Do you have to drop in from... You have to drop in there from uh, Jolly Rogers Lagoon. Sonic Heroes fan, thank you for the sub. Hmm. Oh, we gotta learn that fucking torpedo move with Kazooie. Hmm. I don't think I learned that move till like Jolly Rogers Lagoon. Yeah, there might not be anything to do in here at the moment. These levels have so many variations on their theme, too. Like, there's a billion different versions of this single song, and they all blend into each other seamlessly. It's awesome. Alright, I guess now we can... Hmm... The other tricky thing about this game is you're never sure if it's time to do the transformations or mumbo yet. Because there always might be something you should do first, and then if you accidentally do mumbo too early, then you gotta turn back into banjo. Do the thing you have to do as banjo first, then do mumbo. This makes breaking so much fun! Now listen up to how it's done. Leap high in the air and then hold up left, left trigger or right trigger. Watch Kazooie spin and drill with her head. <laughs> Good. Good. All right. Yeah, this game, I remember using that term, or at least thinking it last time, is busy work. There's a lot of stuff in this game that feels like busy work. Where it's like, why? Why are you making me do this? I think that Banjo-Kazooie hit the perfect balance between, like, fun and requiring neat, like, new moves and shit. It felt like they're, they're, everything felt manageable. And this game at times does feel like you're doing things for, like, why do I have to do this again? Why do I need to split up my characters to do this? I think Banjo-Kazooie was Rare's best collect-a-thon because it was the one that, that had the best balance to it. I think DK64 probably was a little worse than this one in terms of tediousness, but... I mean, I won't, like, like I've said before, I think that this game is so much better in a lot of other ways. Train, let's go to the train station. Gentle, thank you for the sub. When was the DK64 stream? That was... At least... Probably a little over two years ago? That would be my guess. Hmm... I need Mumbo for this. This train's name is Chuffy, and ain't that also like some fucking... Slang term? That was late 2017. Alright. Inside Chuffy's wagon. Hmm. Find the train tunnel door switches in other worlds to enable Chuffy to travel between stations. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, we gotta get Mumbo to fix the train. Wind Waker. Yeah, I remember doing Wind Waker at the same time as DK64, just because of how tedious it was to switch between them and do all the fucking time synchronization stuff. And I remember how much better Wind Waker looked. This is like the fifth time I've gone into this door. I don't need to do this again. Alright, so let's do... 
I guess we can go get Mumbo now. But I don't think I have any Globos, so... I loved Wind Waker HD. A lot of people seem to have issues with the, the visuals. Like, I think they thought there was too much bloom or whatever, but it didn't really bother me. I had a good time with that game, and I thought it looked great visually. There was, like, one thing with the visuals of that game that was kind of annoying, which was, like, whenever you were lit up by, like, candlelight or fire, your, your model kind of looked weird, but... Maybe there's one in this house. Oh, I still have a Globo. Where did I collect a Globo? I don't remember collecting a Globo, but I have a Globo, so... Come on, Mumbo. Welcome again, Bear. Yeah, 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 yeah. Put Globo in bag now! Poifect. Yeah, Mumbo's skull also didn't cover the back of his head in the original game, right? You could see, like, some weird pink fleshy head. They definitely made Mumbo less upsetting to look at in this game. But, like, look, look at that. The second you turn into fucking Mumbo, you see something that you can only do as Banjo, and there's a Globo. A Globo is a creature! Put creature in bag. So yeah, I feel like this game has one of the same problems that DK64 does, in which it kind of- it requires you to be a certain character to do certain things, and it takes so long to switch between them. How long does ukulele take to beat? I think my stream of it was like eight parts or something like that. This has much less of- yeah, it has much less of the problem in this game, but still, it's still there, just not as bad. I would argue that it takes less time to switch characters in DK64 than it does in this one, though. I just remember really hating it in, uh, Pterodactyl Land and Grunty Industries. Remember the ukulele pirate ship secret? Oh, they're probably just- they're holding off on it. They'll, they'll, when, whenever they reveal Stop and Swap 2, that's when they'll, they'll reveal the ukulele pirate ship secret. I mentioned this before, Game Boo, but I think it would be so fun to do DK64 five-player co-op simultaneous. Everyone can just run around the level, go wherever they want, do their own tasks, and like sometimes you need to help each other get to areas, but that would be such a fun cooperative experience. What's down there? There are bad things in there. What? This sort of sh I want to know what's down there. That would be so fun though. Like imagine an entire like 100% run of DK64 where everyone is playing at the same time just like splitting up, making plans to get through the levels as fast as they can. That would be so cool. That always spooked me as a kid. Yeah, I mean, I've said this before too, but when it comes to like old N64 games with their like low poly emptiness, they, they kind of feel scary at times. And whenever there's the element of the unknown, there's something about it that's just eerier during this era of video games. I don't know if there's anything else I have to do as Mumbo. Let's just turn back into Banjo for now. This sounds like an amazing idea, but I can just imagine this where the fuck did Lanky go? <laughs> Lanky players always would fucking, like, they would ruin every game. They'd, like, hide, not collect their bananas, not do any of their fucking missions. But, like, it would be fun. Like, imagine you're playing as Diddy and you need to go into this temple to get one of your golden bananas, but the switch outside needs to be opened by DK, so you need the DK player to come open it up for you so you can go do your individual challenge. 
It'd be like you're all playing the game on your own, and the levels are big enough so that you wouldn't always be seeing each other, but you still need each other at times. Did Mike do the Pillar Man joke again? No, I didn't. I didn't do the bit again. What did he do? What did you do? I know that you did something. You don't just run away and hide in jail. What did you do? Maybe that's a Minjo. Can I check? Nope, you can't check. I think that if he was a Minjo, he would have activated by now. Text to speech crimes. I've been there, Jinjo. I understand your pain. We need the TNT. Oop, this is a shortcut. Well, I think I'll take the shortcut. Oh! Oh, split up pads. I did like playing as Solo Kazooie. That was always really neat. Uh, the generators need to be lit, but to switch on light requires a split. Okay. Bam, 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 bam. All right, let's go get the TNT because we got another Globo. What is my favorite platformer ever? Well, would you consider Banjo Tooie a platformer? <sighs> Categorizing games is really difficult because I don't know if I'd consider Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tooie platformers. Wait, the other? We're gonna get a fucking orange Jinjo Jiggy. It's a 3D platformer. I don't know. I feel like platformers are more, like, focused on levels and jumping and, like, navigating challenging in terrain and environments. This game's more, more like, about ex exploration. There's very few, like, platforming challenges in this game, I feel like. I don't know. It's tough. Uh, video game character uh, categorization has always been really weird. And people get very heated about it, too. All right, where's Humba's over there? Let's go get Humba. I wouldn't say this is my favorite platformer. If we're considering Banjo-Kazooie platform, like these games as platformers, I would say Banjo-Kazooie might be my favorite. Schrodinger, thank you for the sub. Why is this inside your wigwam? Okay. This game is a Metroidvania. It kind of is, <laughs> in a lot of ways. There's a lot of things in this game that are just like, yo, you can't do this yet. Come back when you get the right power up. Maybe it's an adventure game. Adventure game is like a term I've never quite understood. What is an adventure game? Give me examples of adventure games. I always liked how you could double jump with this if you jump out of, like, his regular walking animation is a jump. Legend of Zelda is an adventure game. Skyrim. Isn't Skyrim an RPG? Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. Zelda is not adventure. See, that's the thing. Like, I feel like genres of video games are so fucking weird. Video games are all so different from each other. It's hard to put them into categories. Like, if you ask me, during the Game Awards, Monster Hunter should not have won RPG of the Year because I do not consider Monster Hunter an RPG in the slightest. But some people do. And it's just like, I think it comes down to, to personal opinion. All games are RPG. A lot of them, you do play a role. I'm playing the role of Banjo and Kazooie right now. Many thanks. Our family is reunited, so our heirloom is yours. Can 
Detroit Become Human won RPG of the Year in Australia. What the fuck? Alright, what else do I need this TNT for? Yeah, all their family heirlooms are exactly the same. Uh, the power hut is where Dilberta lives, right? Isn't it she upstairs with the fox dude? Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Huh. Oh. Hmm. Genre defining in general is so ridiculous. I agree with you. I can kind of see this. I'm looking over at OBS and I can't see it on my PC screen, but on my my monitor's got a very, it's very bright. I can see the path easily. I don't need the fucking generator. Oops. Well, it's tough to do platforming when you jump. <laughs> when you jump everywhere. Doing this as the TNT might be a little difficult. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know what else I needed to do as Mumbo? I need to lift the rock into the grinder. Oh. Can we- we should just leave her. I feel like this is where she belongs. This is her house. Over here! I need you to help me out of this frightful predicament! Who might you be? I'm Canary Mary. They used to send me down to the mines to check for gas. If I died, they'd know it wasn't safe. Nice. I can think of more pleasant jobs. They just left me in here. Look at the fucking wrinkles on her lips. Don't worry, I'll get Kazooie here to smash the cage. Can't we just use the dynamite that we are? No, 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 no. There we go. Woohoo! I'm free! It's moments like this that make adventuring worthwhile. There, so it's an adventure game. HD was a mistake. At least Canary Mary never fucking returned. Ugh. This might be my least favorite video game character of all time. Fucking Lisa Simpson ass looking. I hate this character. You gotta watch this whole fucking cutscene. She's like Lisa Simpson fused with Miss Fowl off of Jimmy Neutron. Wasn't there like a meme that was going around a couple months ago where it was like Carl Weezer talking to Mrs. Fowl, but he called her Mrs. Fritz for some reason? <laughs> Alright, let's turn back into Bear and Bird. <laughs> Okay, Miss Fritz, I'm about to- yeah, that one. Oh boy. This race is nowhere near as bad as the Cloud Cuckoo Land race. It's right up here, isn't it? Over here. This is where I need Mumbo. Fuck. And there's a Jiggy over there. That's a small thing I also don't like, is, like, the note counter is your total notes instead of the level notes. So it's, like, to go- to see if you have them all in the level, you have to go to, like, this page. Alright. We've actually got a bunch of shit, I mean, aside from the jiggies. Alright. Uh... I think we need the bouncy shoes to get that. We don't have the bouncy shoes yet. Alright, well we can warp to- at least there's a warp pad right here, let's do that. I think the best way to go about this game, even if it's tedious to switch between characters, is to just do stuff when you see it. Don't leave things for later. Yeah, alright Mumbo. You want Mumbo's help? Yeah! I like the episode where they made a band together and Carl was like, drum solo. 
What was their band called? It had Llama in the name, right? It wasn't the- the Three Amigops was a different episode, right? Actually, why didn't we fucking just take the warp? The Llama Lords of Science. <laughs> God. <laughs> yep. Alright, let's warp to the crushing shed. How do people know that so fast? I'm convinced that Twitch chats of over like 200 people are smarter than a supercomputer. They know anything. Every question you have, someone in Twitch chat knows the answer. They don't behave smart a lot of the time, but they always know everything. There we go. A single Twitch chat contains all the information in the universe, but you might not always get the information from them. Someone in this Twitch chat knows the, defi the meaning of life. They know what happens after death. But they won't tell us. Alright, now let's switch back to Banjo. Unless, let me just double check that there's nothing that we have to do in here. Don't we have to slow something down or something? We have to, like, turn on the conveyor belt. I might be thinking of Grunty Industries. Mm, Alright, now I think I'm done with Mumbo. Yeehaw! You die and wake up on a carriage to Helgen. So, you're finally awake. The voice acting in Skyrim is so fucking funny. Like, it's not as iconically funny as Oblivion's, because the voice actors themselves don't... I don't know, they're not as, like, silly as Oblivion's, but some of it's just... The voices are so weird. Like that one male voice that's like, I heard there, there's battleborns in Winterhold. So, you like to carry heavy weapons, huh? They like sound so fucking like, just unenthusiastic. <laughs> that guy. Grey Mane or Battleborn? The fucking blacksmith in White Run has that voice. Um, I feel like a lot of the lines from Skyrim are more quotable. It's, the guard lines from Oblivion are definitely very quotable, but Oblivion's voice actors are just so fucking... Like, I can hear all of their voices in my head. All right, let's go see what was in Chuffy. This isn't where we fight uh, Old King Cole, is it? Maybe it is. This m this is my train, yeah. Yeah, I, I think we fight him in the back. I love dogs, doesn't everyone? Where do you fight him? Is it in the, uh, boiler, maybe? Do you have to turn off the boiler? Do you have to, like, use ice eggs? No, you don't even need to turn- you don't even need to cool it. Okay. I remember in the boss rush mode, ice eggs did so fucking much damage to this dude. Which was a cool, like, thing for them to even program into the game. Cause you're not- you don't have ice eggs when you fight him. This boss is easy. Did you hear the rumors about the Donkey Kong Country movie? No, I didn't. <laughs> I wouldn't expect those to be real. But you're supposed to be a merry old soul. Not me, pal, but you'll soon be feeling my merry old soul on the top of your puny heads. 
Yeah, I guess you could just skip him and come back later. I just don't... Like, you can just stand on top of this... I guess the time limit's more of the challenge here. <laughs> I love how his limbs fall off, though. Yeah, the ice eggs do so much damage. This dude looking like the California races. <laughs> oh. This boss is a fuggler. He kind of looks... I feel like that sounds like such a bad word. Like, I feel like it's something that I shouldn't say. It really does. Are perhaps we should sit down and talk about this? Why is his his voice? His voice is coming from over there. Maybe that's because where his where his head fell off. All right. Okay, perhaps I'll let you use my train after all, but don't you dare hit anything. I've only just polished. A merry old soul unlocked. Yeah, on the box it says that it stands for funny, ugly little monsters. Perfect. And I didn't even forget the jiggy. That's two bosses down without a single coin. All right, now let's go to the crushing shed, I think. Unless maybe we need something before we can get past all those crushers. We should just do Canary Mary. Wait, hold on. I think the wigwam is the closest one to Canary Mary. Where is she? I thought she was right near the entrance. There she is. <sighs> She's very hard on Xbox because of the tiny buttons. You'll have to mash X, not for... S well, hold on. I can do it. Hey there, Canary Mary. Why are you still around? Oh, you couldn't really see the fucking lip wrinkles before, but now you can and it's so horrible. On this old handcart, I'm sure it was broken when I saw it last. It was, but I fixed it and then put it back on the track. You're pretty resourceful for an old bird, aren't you? I'd like to try. Jump aboard if you fancy a go. Sounds like fun. What do we do? Simply tap X as fast as you can to drive the handcart. I will. Let's go. First try, here we go. Ready, three, two, one, go! All right, this doesn't feel like... All right, okay, let's go. The fuck out of my way. These games are notoriously fucking brutal. Oh, jeez. Oh. Come on. Come on, bitch, go! Come on, Banjo, it's a race! This is just Banjo running from Canary Mary. Oh man, I'm getting tired. These are so long! Why is these, why is this race so long? All right, we made it, we made it, we made it. That's the end. Oh. Do I have to do it again? I think we beat you there, Mary. Well, I guess you can have this shiny thing I found before I got locked in that cage. Is it a jiggy? 
I can't remember what it is. It's been under my wing for days. Ew, I'm not sure we want it in that case. That was a fine race. Sure was. My wings are starting to feel better. How about racing back again? Hop on the cart if you think you can beat me again. Mike now has carpool tunnel. Do you think, uh... Oh, what's up, Toxic? Uh, do you think that... Is there a Cheeto page? Do I have to get the... Do I have to do it again for a Cheeto page? She didn't say there was another thing to win. Yep. I thought that was just in Cloud Cuckoo Land. Yeah, there's a Cheeto page. God damn it. Alright, let me stretch my arm out real quick. Fuck you. Is this a 100% run? The fact that I'm doing this right now should answer that question for you. Ugh. Come on. Go, Pancho, go! She's gaining on you! Why does your arm hurt from mashing? Because the way I mash is that I put my finger over the button and I shiver my arm. Like, I, it, it, I kind of, like, flex my arm and make it shake. That's how I've always mashed. These buttons are small, too. It's a pretty effective mashing method, but yeah, it, it tires you out real quick. It does hurt. Ugh. That's two out of two for us, Mary. Perhaps you'd like this piece of paper as a prize. It's been wedged in my... No! I don't want to know where it's been! I think I've spent quite enough time... Why did they make that joke? Banjo, get off the tracks! Oh no, he's wearing headphones. Five pages at last. Come and see me in Grunty's old lair in Spyro Mountain. And I'll tell you your first secret cheat. Ho ho ho. Alright, where's the... Why is there no warp pad at the entrance to this level? I guess because Humba's not that far, but... Banjo can't hear us with his new AirPods. Uh, crushing shed. Let's try this. I don't know if I can do anything here yet, though. You, there is one at the entrance. You missed it. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we need. I feel like we need the uh, backpack move or something, right? The one where you go to sleep in your backpack to heal? You just need the gold feathers. I thought that they still hurt you even with the gold feathers. That's not it. That's not it. No! As soon as I remember how to do the gold feathers, you're toast. I haven't done this move yet. I don't know these fucking button combos. No! Oh, your fucking head! I feel like that's weird for just his head to get smushed. Just be careful. You don't even need it? Okay. Oh, yeah, you don't even need it. Oh! Is it right C? Alright, either way. I guess I got that confused with a different thing from Grunty Industries. Right C, yeah. I'll make sure I do that. Alright. 
That's satisfying. I like this, Jiggy. Oh, it's in a million pieces, though. Thank God they didn't... I, I wonder if they, they originally planned to, like, have these pieces spread out amongst, like, throughout the level. And then they decided that was too much. Uh. <laughs> I love how it does that. Just plays a little piece of the song. There we go. Alright, we still can't get that one because we don't have the bouncy shoes, which I'm not even sure you learn in this world. And then there's still the ordinance shooting gallery, which is somewhere. Might be down here. Mine entry, that might be it. Yeah, if they'd thought of that, they probably would have done it. Where's the, uh... It's not down here. No, it's not. We should head to the generator shed. Because there's the whole thing with uh, Dilberta we can do. You learn the bouncy shoes move in Dino Land. In the dinosaur world. Alright, see, like, now I have to remember to go here as the TNT. Uh, well, it's not that far from the TNT. Let's just do that now. I mean, I've 100%ed this game probably four times in my life. And it's crazy just how much of it I don't remember. It's been spread out throughout, like, most of my life. Alright. There we go. I've already forgotten where we're taking the TNT. Right in here. Right? Bingo! Okay. Now, let me guess. Am I going to have to go back? Because this is not... Yeah, this isn't doable by the TNT. So now we have to go back to Humba. It just would have... Like, you know, being able to transform on the spot would just help so much. Alright. Where is Wigwam? I feel like not 100% the game feels worse to do because you feel like you give up on some jiggies but then give up on whole worlds we're missing. Yeah, that's kind of, I don't know, just knowing that they're, the totals screen really fucking, I hate looking at it when it's not complete. Yeah, we can go save Royston too, and he gives us like double the amount of air or something. Alright, let's go over here. That was sick, Banjo. Alright, let's see what's in here. I don't think I'll ever 100% this game because of the Canary's last page. Yeah, I feel like I'm going to have trouble with that when we get to it. Alright. Um, let's start with this. This reminds me of a part from DK64. The swimming controls are not how I'm used to them being. Uh, there's no air in here. There's no air in here! Is this just eggs? Can you swim in first person? Yeah, you can. That's, that's a little easier, even though it's very fucking disorienting. I feel like if you know what you're doing, it's possible to... I mean, people speedrun this game, so yeah, it is possible to 100% it in one sitting. But even if you know what you're doing, what's the 100% speedrun world record for this game? It's still gotta be pretty decently long. <laughs> this is fucking agonizing to look at. Four-ish hours, I think. That's crazy. 
I feel like I definitely missed shit in there. What is the worst rare 64 platformer, including Conquer? I did not like Conquer that much. I played it for the first time um, a couple months ago, and I know that that's not the most popular opinion I have, but I really, I didn't enjoy it that much. I thought it had a ton of personality and charm to it, but as a game, I really wasn't crazy about it. How can I get up there? I don't think I can get up there right now. Mm. Oh, I, I love this nice, this nice patch of grass. Four hours and 18 minutes is the world record for this game. Should have, yeah, see, I, a lot of people said that I should have played live and reloaded, but a lot of other people said that it wasn't as good. I don't know. That's delicious grass. I think I'll stop here for a bite. It's like a weird time capsule. Yeah, I think that's a good way to put it. I think it was very funny, mostly just because of the... How, like... It's just something that you don't really expect. It's just funny the juxtaposition between, like, a cutesy animal platformer by Rare and all the shit they were saying. Because it's really not my, my sense of humor either. But it, it was funny. It was funny to see because it was just so absurd. Um, is this the way out? I think this is the way out. The voice acting was very funny too. Because it was all like three people. It was two people. Alright, now what? Um... Hmm... What should my next objective be? I don't think we need Mumbo for anything. I don't think we... We definitely haven't... There's the whole shooter segment, and I don't remember where that is. It's like the or it's called like ordinance shootout, right? Or something. Mine entry two. It's not down there, I don't think. I've been in here. Yeah, this is where the Jinjo was. Um I guess we could do the the shed. It's oh wait, yeah, let's do this while we're here. The power hut. The music sounds a little fucky to me. I don't know if that's just me. It sounds like some of the sound bites are getting, like, cut off early or something. Hold on, let me turn it up for you guys. Do you hear what I'm hearing? Like, so sounds like... Sounds like some of these instruments aren't working well. Does anyone else hear that, or is, am I... Maybe. Sounds fine. It might just be me. I don't know. Something doesn't sound quite right with the, uh... It's just how the music is in here? I don't remember it being like that. Oh, I don't need the light, because I can see. As long as I don't have to control the TNT thing, I'll be fine. Into the basement we go! All right, I can see. Um. Oh. You guys really can't fucking see anything, can you? Oh. There we go. I can see because on my mo my monitor is like very bright. 
I think we should death warp. Having no lives in this game was a good call, too. Oh, there's the warp pad. I did just miss it. Alright, so what are our totals looking like here? Oh. No, not objects and items. View totals. 6 out of 10. Still need two Jinjos, one move. Where the hell is the move I haven't found? Also, apparently there's a rock near the minecart that I can break. Fuel store. Wait, is this it? Is this the- is fuel storage it? Hold on. I like totals. I always think of that when I say the word totals. Oh, you need the TNT for this, right? Fucking God! Um, up the hill. Alright, let me go up the hill. Oh, this. Alright, let's do this first. Well, hold on. No. We're not doing that first. We're gonna fucking do things as I see them. So we're gonna go get the TNT, and we're gonna do this first. I like totals. I wonder what that kid's up to now. Bam, 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 bam. All right, head back towards the minecart. Still liking turtles, most likely. I hope so. I hope he does still like turtles, and I hope he has a turtle. His name was Jonathan. I'm here with Jonathan. You're a, that's great, Jonathan. You're a great zombie. I don't even think we can do anything with this right now. We're here with the zombie, Jonathan. <laughs> All right, let's see. I think we just have to come back here later, right? It's gonna be like, TNT can't go to Witchy World. Humba magic not work if go through there, only Baron Bird can leave. Am I allowed to leave and- No, it's not like Banjo-Kazooie where- Bleep! Now that door's not open on the other side. Oh, okay, so that's what we have to do. Okay, now we'll go get Banjo, and we'll put- Uh, we'll- we'll fucking- I think what we'll do is we'll get Banjo, we'll do whatever's underneath that rock, and then we'll be done for the day. Cause that's- we've been streaming for about three hours now, and I'm only doing one game tonight. But then tomorrow night, we'll go back to doing two games. We'll probably do just Kingdom Hearts and Katamari tomorrow night. I have a bunch of, like, exciting stuff that I want to do. Exciting, funny streams. But I, I also want to finish up the games that I have left over from 2018. Katamari's almost over. And Kingdom Hearts probably has, like, two streams left. Yeah, I haven't played Kingdom Hearts in, like, fucking two weeks. Your poopsies are toast, mommy. Best line. Alright. How does Banjo just know that it's time to shoot? This is the stressful one with the TNT. Another use for the feathered freak makes good use of her pointy beak. The bad guys know that it's no joke. Just press X to give him a poke. That that was his best one yet. That worked very well. Kazooie just looks like a fucking inanimate object when you look at them in third person like that. Kazooie is a girl. Yes! Um... This is-
this is gonna hurt me. Nope. Can I bash through this? You've earned a beak attack, huh? Ooh, ooh. Sure have, partner. <laughs> well, maybe you can help me out here. A real nasty bunch of TNT sticks has escaped from the air box and are threatening to blow up my mind. Don't worry, we'll go in there and blast them. No, shoot one and the whole mine will explode. You'll have to try and defuse them somehow. Anything else? Yep, you'll have to be quick, because when you defuse the first one, the others will probably start their detonation timers. Okay, let's see. Yeah, once you hit the first one, then all the other ones get set off, right? Yeah, 200 seconds. That's not too bad. And you can hear their bouncing as, like, a hint of where they are. Ugh. Come on. Can you play this? I know it's just gonna... C could you? I know it's just gonna be fart with reverb, but I'll just click it. Oh. <laughs> it's not. It's Doom music. Wait, you can probably... It's coming out of my speakers, so you could... Never mind. I don't have my audio set up to handle that right now. Do we have a release date for Doom Eternal? I'm fucking excited for Doom Eternal. Could you just... It's weird that the TNT doesn't have eyes. You'd think it would. Where's, where's that bouncy boy? Bouncy boy. I can do this. I still have two whole minutes left. That's plenty of time. To find nine of them? There's two right here. God. There we go. Oh, I gotta remember not to shoot them. Shut up. Shut up! I hear one. Oh! Okay. Come on, 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 come on. Remember the oranges with eyes in DK64? <laughs> I sure do. That was so, that was such a sad moment for me when everyone was like, Mike, they aren't eyes. They lost so much character to me. They always looked like they had eyes. have one minute left. Yeah. What the fuck? There's one. Why weren't you bouncing? Yeah, yeah there's like a pin on top of them because they're like grenades, but I thought it was yeah. eyes. Oh. Yeah. And people are like, how did you even think that, Mike? And I, I defend myself because I feel like it's totally not far-fetched to think that something would have eyes in, a, in an old Rare game. Yeah. Everything has eyes in these games. Yeah. Uh, God damn it. We're gonna have to try again. Yeah. God damn it. Wait. Oh, that's... Damn, I missed one! Now look what you varmints have done. Y'all better get out while you still can! Did I save state last time? So my last run was just completely invalid anyway. So I needed to restream it 
no matter what. You had to because it kept crashing. All right, well, still. This music is anxiety-inducing. It sure is. All right, I got you last, last time. Does Doom on the Switch run at a constant 30 FPS? I've heard it does. I've heard it's a pretty good port. I played the shit out of Doom on the PC. I probably would have picked it up on the Switch if I, like, hadn't played it so recently, but I just was replaying it, like, around that time anyway. Yeah, the, the Grunty Industries one is way scarier. Alright, we're doing- we're on good pace. We're on good pace. Yeah, the Switch version of Doom Eternal is coming out the same day as other versions, which is, I mean, pretty good for Nintendo. I'm still gonna get it on PC. The game looks really fucking nice, and I'd like to play, like, a, the, the game in the best way possible in terms of visuals. And I'd just prefer mouse and keyboard, though the gyro aiming, I'm sure, works really well. I've heard good things about that, too. Where are you? I hear you. Alright, three more. They gotta be upstairs, right? They'll probably get delayed like Dark- That would suck if it got delayed like Dark Souls did. Dark Souls got delayed for a long time. Oh, I'm not gonna make it again. I'm not gonna make it again. I have no idea where it is. Oh, wait, I hear it. It's closer. Where? Th I hear two. Oh, it was probably in that green room. No, 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 no. Silver, thank you for the sub. Where? Where? It's right here. There's one more. There's one more. I have 39 seconds. Where is it? Where? It's not that way. It's gotta be upstairs. There's no fucking stairs in here! It's up above. It's up above. It's in that green room. It's gotta be in that green room. There it is! <laughs> How obliged? Are we talking a reward here? Well, all I got is this funny shaped nugget. I reckon you can have that. Oof. Hooray! Now we just have to find our way out of here. I'm sure that's that'll be easy. This music is so good, though. <sighs> it's gotta be like an upstairs area, right? Uh... We did it, boys! Give me that jiggy. And then we'll wrap it up for the night. But regular streams are back. I'll be back tomorrow night. Alright, this is a good stopping point. I do... How, does this, this game saves automatically, right? Like, all the time? <laughs> jiggy tips? What the heck is jiggy tips? What? Was this in the original? That's like the names of the stars in, in Mario 64. I don't remember.
remember that. Okay, well, that was it for the stream tonight. Thank you for watching, and uh, thank you for being patient. That is, that does look helpful. That's actually nice. I like that improvement. Because it was so fucking hard to remember where some of these jiggies were, especially in bigger levels like Grunty Industries. So I'll probably be using that. Um, but thank you for watching. If you like the stream tonight, feel free to check out any of the other streams on YouTube. There's a bunch of them. Uh, we're back now, and we're going to be starting a lot of new games in 2019. Uh, we still have to finish Kingdom Hearts 2 and Katamari Damacy Reroll, so we'll be finishing those up hopefully soon, and then we can move on to more new stuff. Um, I'm also, of course, doing a 100% playthrough of Banjo-Tooie. Uh, if you want to follow me on social media, you can do so on Twitter, at Mike Panutes. You can also submit art there during the stream, and I'll show it at the end of the stream. Uh, so let's take a look at the art now. There's looks to be a decent amount of it, so let's uh, let's go. Hold on. Um, all right. Yeah, and there will be more Smash streams in the future. Okay, well, this first thing is... I'm going to go in, like, reverse order tonight, just because that's what I'm doing. Uh, this is by Onjani. This is just a bunch of various banjo sketches. <laughs> the lips! <laughs> you even got the little dust pile. Oh god, he's wearing headphones! <laughs> These are all really fucking good. These are all really good. <laughs> I love the face on bottles. And the neck veins, holy shit. That's really good. Uh, this is by Donkey Spittle. This is really nice too. I love this art style. God, we- I can only hope. I don't- I wouldn't even mind if Kazooie used her wrench in Smash. Wouldn't even mind one bit. I'd prefer the old designs. But, you know, I'll do what I have to do. If we have to go for the nuts and bolts designs, fine. But that's really, really nicely done. Thank you. Uh, this is by Scott Bowser. This is the, the video I released the other day. Art for that. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Thank you. I like this style, too. I like the fucking tear. It's really good. Really nice. Um, okay, this is by Ray Chu. This is also a really nice drawing of Banjo and Kazooie in another fucking cool style. I love seeing all these drawings of Banjo and Kazooie in different styles. That's awesome. <laughs> I love the expressions, too. Really nice. Um, that's really great. Thank you. This is by uh, Gannon's Baker. I love Banjo's face. Banjo's face reminds me of something in this, and I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> that looks really good. Very nice. Uh, this is... Oh, wait. Oh, I because I was showing them in reverse order. This came first. <laughs> we saw the ending before we saw the beginning. I love my friends. I'm Banjo. Uh, here is some stuff by Jake Jack Joe. Uh, this is a bunch of different things. There's always so much to unpack in all of your art. This is Christmas smartphone games stuff, though. There's the fucking dude climbing the wall. <laughs> in the deer's ass! And then this also. Which is really cool. Holy shit. Your stuff is always so fucking cool. Very nice. Very cool stuff. <laughs> it's hard to believe that the, that stream was so long ago now. It was like over a week ago. Uh, this is by Giz. This is a BRB. Can I... Uh... You included an imager link. Thank you. Uh, this is... <laughs> this is actually a fucking great BRB. <laughs> it's the fucking part five dance. <laughs> That's awesome! I really like this. I'll probably have to cut off, like, a little bit of the... Oh, it doesn't loop. I'll probably have to cut off a little bit of it. But yeah, that's really great. Thank you. Let me uh, put that in with the others so I don't lose it. That's really well done. Um, okay. Next up is this by Lou Blues. Oh, this is really nice, dude. I always love how vibrant your colors are. 
That's awesome. Wait a minute. I hear it again. Guys, I think there's a fucking rat. I think there's a fucking rat in the pipe that leads to my dryer. The thing that, that brings the hot air into my dryer. I think there's a fucking rat in there. Because it sounds like there's something in that. It's like a fucking foil-like pipe. And it's what transfers the hot air into my dryer. And I feel like there's a rat in there. I can't get it. I'd have to call the maintenance people. I don't know. Uh, all right, let's keep <laughs> let's keep doing the art. Sorry. Um, this last thing is. Hold on, I have to open up a new browser for this. Maybe he brings the air. Yeah, that's. I'm afraid he's gonna die in there and then make my place smell. I mean, I'm not sure, but I'm like, it sounds like there's something moving around in there. Uh, but anyway, this is by, uh, uh, Zazzy. Decided to throw in a nod, uh, at Streamer Ward. And I, oh, shit, look at this. It's a little cameo of me! Oh, this is really great! Look how cool this is! <laughs> That's awesome! What the hell? That's so great! That's fucking great! Holy shit! That's fantastic! Yeah, this is by Zazzy. This is really, really nice. I'm fucking very interested in this. That's amazing. Uh, thank you. I'm very, very honored. Um, okay, well, I think that's it for the art, and that's it for the stream, so I will catch you guys later. I have to go check on a rat situation. Uh, but I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a good one, and thank you very much for watching. Remember, if you've got any stop-and-swap eggs, make sure you trade them in for your gamer pictures. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.